I'm going to tweet it's out alive. that they're alive. It's alive! Ah. Tweet. On the hip hop yeah. website, Twitter. You guys are in the eighth layer. You guys are almost like three times the amount as I intended for this hardcover. <laughs> Weird. Whoops. We're almost halfway through this dungeon. Whoopsie doopsie. Only halfway. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It was really funny. Um, so for those who don't know, uh, there is a subreddit for every pre-written pre fifth edition module. It's basically a way for people to consolidate resources and stuff. Mm. Um, and uh, strict save on one. Yeah, exactly. And so I, on occasion, I'll check the Dungeon Mad Mage one. Uh, that's where you guys got your map from, Halith, the kind of shitty map for level three, if you recall. I got that mm, one from. It's a wonderful, the, beautiful, confusing map. Really confusing map, yeah. Um, but it, they had there was a post there where someone's like, "How long did it take you guys to go from cover to cover for this module, like in real life?" And people range from like two years to four years to five. And it was like, oh my god. And like, um, some people said they only ran like half of it. And like, it was really neat seeing like what stuff they did. And mm -hmm. it's neat because they're like, oh, my players did this through the entire thing. And I'm like, my players are currently doing this through the entire thing. How fun and interesting. <laughs> my player did X and Y double Z. Oh, it also god, looks no. like Halith is like just a favorite character because there's a lot of art of Halith on that subreddit. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Which is very cute. He's a favorite character. Can't go wrong with your undead companions. Trying to find something appropriate here for my tweet here as we set out. <laughs> Should be like puppies or something. Oh shit, I need to go. I need to go back. <laughs> yeah, good vibes. Something swampy. It's a swamp, right? We're going on to? Slither swamp. We knew the name. Yeah. Slither yeah, swamp. Slither that was swamp. Probably full of like jelly beans and cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, when has a swamp ever referred to an actual swamp in games, you know? Like <laughs> You think someone would do that? Yeah. You think I... someone would name a geographical feature <laughs> after what it actually is. You know, the joke is it's actually not a swamp. We just walk into like the oh. stomach of like a giant snake or something and that's why hello. it's slither swamp. Hello, hello. Venmaru Curse Corwood said, I'm currently taking inspiration from the Curse of Strad Reddit. It's damn impressive. I've heard stories of the Curse of Strad subreddit that it's actually probably like the best one. Um, I've used the Tomb of Annihilation one actually for your game, Shay, our local game on Saturdays, and like the resources huh? there are so good. It consolidates a lot of missing elements of the adventure because it's kind of older. So, yeah, no. For example, remember that first little adventure we did, the the Cellar of Death, the one where you yeah. guys had to break into the cellar? That was from the subreddit. They recommended doing that and then leading into Tomb of Annihilation instead of just, like, cold turkey starting the game, because it kind of has a terrible beginning. So it's better to do that and then lead into the actual module, and it was fantastic advice. I, I'm going to do that every time if I ever run Tomb again. The Lee 49 thanks for just here on sub for 28 months. I can't believe that you did to that... Welcome to the first ever session of Dungeons yeah, of the Mad Mage. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Nothing what are you talking this. about, the Lee? What the fuck are you talking about? Shut up. What, Anyways. who, when, where? Mm. <laughs> Remember what we talked about last time. We God, didn't I, talk. I have to read out my subs and bits, you guys. I kind of need that to, like, eat dinner. <laughs> Not you. Chat. <laughs> I was talking to chat. <laughs> oh, okay, get him out of chat. I see, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's crazy. We found the new Forgotten level. Storm King yeah. Thunder is a subreddit I haven't looked at, but that that that's one of the modules that definitely could use some work. I'd, I'd love to use the Tyranny of Dragons module, but the problem is it's so old and terrible, and, like, every time I go to the subreddit, 90% of the subreddit is, how the fuck do I make this, like, good? <laughs> and it's people answering in five different ways. So... Yeah, extra battle. Last session rejected. I guess. <clears throat> Congratulations, Boo Radley. You're getting married in 12 hours, you said? Yeah, pretty much. He he lied to us. We thought he was already married. I Sorry, didn't chat. lie. I said we were doing the anniversary. <laughs> like, He's anniversary. a master ruseman. He 
perfectly crafted the best <laughs> lie ever. You should have been there. Yeah. I also shouldn't have I'm legacy a liar, says, liar, pants on fire. Shouldn't have legacy says Studio Dragons was wild to run. I made it work, but it took a lot of work. Yeah. That's what I've been hearing. It's just like at that point you're better off just doing a homebrew campaign. Like it's just which sucks, because the actual, like, entire book is really cool and interesting and has some of the coolest plot shit ever. It's just so clunky and bad. <laughs> I feel bad. There's, yeah, there's some really good bones in it, for sure. I agree. That's mm -hmm. what most people tend to take out of it, is, like, take some of the good ideas in that book and kind of make your own campaign around it rather than, like, follow it, you know, chapter by chapter. Chapter, f I think it's chapter four in particular, is notorious for people being like, how the fuck can I skip this? <laughs> also, but... I'm back. I apologize for that. Um, mother required you? help. Sorry. And then my mom started talking to me about in how there are 11 people who have birthdays in February in the family. Oh, yeah. Mine is January. I know too many people who were born in January. Oh, trust me. When you have a family of over 60 people, there is, there's going to be a lot of repeats. <laughs> yeah. Big family. All right, so Boo Radley, are you here? Yes. Zan, are you here? I am here. Evie, are you here? Sometimes. Bracky, are you here? No. All right, Shay. Emotionally or physically? Both, I need both right now. <laughs> I suppose I can be available. All right, all right. Uh, Boo Radley will introduce you here when it's appropriate. So yes, please. you're gonna be on Do standby. what you gotta do. Yeah, I'll do what I need to do, but do what you got it though. Three hours later. Just, just to confirm, uh, everybody did level up to level ten, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. If you Hooray. are missing, if you are missing a hero point, you may add one back to your sheet. Without further ado, let's delve into the eighth layer of the dungeon of the Mad Mage. <sighs> This is always so exciting whenever you guys go to another <laughs> level. Oh. It's like a Christmas like present, but the Christmas present is an abolith. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear. My favorite. <laughs> hey, we're level 10 now. Do we want to go back to that guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's all the way back. <laughs> all right. So, Bertrand, Wisp, Lionel, and Nyx. As the tunnel, the stone giant tunnel continues downward, you continue walking for what feels like hours. The walls shift sometimes into sand and other times into a sort of a sheer rock cliff that you have to kind of slide down. But something becomes blatantly apparent the deeper you go. Moist. It is getting humid as hell in this tunnel. Huh. You have, like, the rough temp temperature? Because if it's, like, cold and humid or hot and humid? It is warm and humid. Okay. Like, I would say... Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta use my Celsius. I would say, like, 25, 26 Celsius. Tr I think we all understand Gross. that one, but one of us. That's, yeah. uh... It's like... That's it's 77 like, American. Yes. It's, like, slightly a... Like, it's above room temperature to a point of, like, your pits are starting to sweat, and it's kind of like any layers are starting to really drag it down a little bit. <sighs> Not a big fan of this one. Yeah, me either. I feel a little uncomfortable. As you proceed down further, the sound of the kind of wind moving in this cavern gives way to croaks and the buzzing of insects. I will reveal that to you. New map time, guys. New map. New map. New map. Roll 20 will stop lagging because it's a little slow. Apologies. I'll take you over to your new map. It's going to be in the top left corner. Oh, started right on top of it. Cool.
Top right? No. Top left. Top left. I see this. Anybody hearing insects up ahead? What? Insects. I hear insects. I hear croaking. And croaking. But... What's lighting, Mike? Uh, no light at all. Ooh, you have casting out. light, then? Alright. You guys cast light. Is at this point, as you move forward, Nyx, above your head, in the cavern above, you hear a thump, and you watch as dropping down in front of you, thunk Thaddeus appears. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, Thaddeus, oh, 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 okay, once okay. again, eh? you don't remember what happened. One minute what you were deuce? with your companions, you had your cool helmet, and the next minute... Now you're in a tunnel with them again. Monty? Yes. Is Thaddeus normal size? He is, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what, what, we all what, hope. What, what's going on? If he if he wasn't normal size, he would probably take a shit ton of force damage because he would be bigger than this tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, Bert's gonna what move happened? over Bert's gonna move over with a vacant face, drop his sword and shield on the ground. And then with just the blankest stare, move up to Thaddeus and give him a massive hug before crying into, like, his shoulder. I, uh, what the, uh, oh, oh, hello there. Uh, uh, good to see you again, Bertrand. I, oh, goodness, what happened? I remember us opening a door and then suddenly this happened. We had Are a you? bad time. It's okay. Um... We did not talk about it and just keep walking forward. Wait, no, 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 not this time. He's gonna stop him for a second. You know, you didn't really, like, elaborate in full detail last time this happened. I don't, re not really sure what happened to me, but what happened to you? It seemed, uh, it seems traumatic. He's gonna look back over at Bertrand. <laughs> yeah, Bertrand's just sobbing. <laughs> and, like, and, like, Princess <laughs> is, like, looking away, like, averting eye contact, just looking to her left, even though there's clearly nothing there. <laughs> uh, I'm giving, uh, Bertrand a Christian side hug. We have to save it for marriage, you understand. <laughs> yeah, clerics, man. Come on, Damn. I'm not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> well, no, I want to know. What happened? We already, we already had our therapy session, Thaddeus. We don't, we need time to grieve. Well, what, wait, grieve? <laughs> what are you grieving for? <laughs> you could at least tell me that. What happens in the castle stays in the castle. Well, technically, I was in the castle and, until it wasn't. Well, you are no longer there now, are you? Well, I still deserve to know, shouldn't I? My lord Darius, there are some wounds that leave scars that cannot be seen by the eye. Let us leave it there. What does, what does that mean? I He's gonna, like, just scratch his head and he's gonna feel something. Is he still wearing the kobold uniform? Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You are still wearing the kobold uniform. What the? Uh, uh, what the? Uh, uh, oh, God, Bertrand starts just, crying oh. harder at the sight of the cold boot, cold bulb that I can see. <laughs> Made with love. Oh, if I don't need to wear this anymore, then. Uh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Wait, why are you crying even harder? <laughs> mm, he's gonna insight the. No, there's not really much insight. He? He's fucking crying. Yeah, he's. Uh, well, ooh. I mean, that's like By a now, he's sad, though, right? Well, he's crying harder. You're not gonna be able to read his mind. Nick. Well, I still. Yeah. When you uh, could you measure out sixty feet down from where you are right now? Hello? Yeah, we're waiting on you. Everyone's quiet. I'm, I'm waiting on you. I just revealed Hello? everything. So. No, I thought we were I waiting on you. Saying something. Yeah. yeah. You complain about us cutting you off on, on descriptions. I was like waiting for something, yeah. You're just doing yourselves a disservice. <laughs> Thaddeus, I, I think you might have to just give us some time. We might tell you in the future, but we might not. It's, it's really not something we want to bring up in our heads right now. 
Nix. I, uh... As you walk onto this precipice, your nostrils are immediately battered with a muddy stench. You smell decaying plant matter and muck. And as you look down, you see that the floor is flooded with water. And everything is wet and humid. Insects tells me long buzz rests are gonna suck. Insects buzz around and land on your flesh and kind of, you know, you know, you kind of step up smack them away as they buzz around incessantly at the fresh meal that you guys are proceeding forward as in this chamber. You notice that the water is 20 feet below uh, this marshy ground and the walls and floors of this tunnel drip with moisture. Notably, Uh, right here, you see a moldy ladder. Okay. Bert's gonna run back, pick up his sword and shield that he dropped on the ground before hugging <laughs> that. <is. laughs> I mean, surely what could have happened can't be that bad. Oh, it was bad, Thaddeus. It was really bad. So on that note, we're going to just pretend like it never happened, and we're just going to well, wonder did... about what this moldy ladder is. I don't know what well, you're talking make about. You press the button again. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I wish we pressed the button again. What button? <laughs> what? How do we get across this, anyway? So is it like a broken moldy ladder that looked like it used to go across? As Part of the swamp? It appears to be a rope ladder that has been pegged onto the top of this uh, precipice. Uh, it is rather crude looking and looks just... It looks like someone took it and like threw it into a swamp, pulled it out, rolled it around in some compost, and then nailed it to this spot. Ugh. Hmm. How do the walls look? Do they look... Mm. Moist. Like, gross, yeah. Not only moist, but slimy as well. Like, kind of like there's a green algae kind of growing out of it, but it's like that, you know that stringy, gross algae that's, like, mm -hmm. not pleasant Ooh. to look at? Notably, uh, this is a feature I'm adding into this, but it doesn't really provide any assistance as this entire location is pitch black. The ceiling is speckled with, like, small little motes of light, almost like bioluminescence, but it's not enough to actually, you know, light up this place. It kind of looks like a natural sort of night sky, but you can tell that it's like a cave that just has some little speckled lights in them, but they don't give off any actual, like, revealing light. So a swamp in a cave. Yep. I mean, it sounds about right. We did know that it was going to be a swamp. So who wants to test out the water? You're waiting what way? I mean, I mean to see how deep it is. Oh, let's see. Preferably it... someone without heavy armor. Or someone who is tall. Thaddeus? And then it, everyone just creaks over to Thaddeus. <laughs> what? What? Oh, you want me to go in there? Oh, of course not. Oh, no. no um, I mean... I will go. Happening. Wait, wait, Bertrand, Bertrand. Um, what? what? I mean, it's not a great solution, but... Princess can kind of float above the water. We could at least scout out the area before sending someone down there. Get someone right on Princess's back. Wait. Oh, oh God. She, no, wait. She has she the have? Zephyr horseshoes. She can walk on water. Oh. oh. Yeah. She's stronger than all of us now. She has the power. She has risen. What do you say, Princess? Would you be willing to take oh. one of us over? Uh, how much well, weight can Princess carry? If I'm not I was about to. Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna, I was gonna We're suggest putting, Nyx. I think we should put <laughs> Nyx on because Nyx has the best perception, but also can, weighs very. Low. I can take off my backpack, and Nyx weighs forty pounds. Uh, okay, yeah. so she's she's considered large, which doubles her carrying capacity. 
Uh, and that's going to be 14 times 10. So it's 140 pounds times 2 is 280 pounds. So what is currently in her saddlebags? Like in total well, in terms of weight? 15, 21, 24, 34. Uh, we're good. We're, we're did you, add, did you yeah. add the ship? Yep, it's in there. I'm, I'm looking at the like the bag. Yeah, yeah so looking at it right now. Just, no We're, we've got she, plenty. She can carry 280 pounds, which means a rider would nothing. also count towards that total weight, meaning that if she's bogged down with a rider and it weighs more than her total carrying capacity, mm -hmm. she's not moving very well. So. I'm just going to write in here that we know that she can carry a total of eight, 280 pounds so we don't forget this. 280 or 240? Uh, 280 because it doubles it because as mm. she has she has the uh, the benefit of beast of burden the mule is considered to be a large animal mm. for the purposes of determining its carrying capacity which i do believe doubles that number if i'm not mistaken so how much can she carry uh 280 pounds yeah, that's 10 more than bert can hold yeah <laughs> but again the saddlebags are what actually lets her carry objects because she has no hands but in terms mm -hmm. of like carrying a rider, that also is applied. So, you know, if you have two people who are three hundred pounds, get on her. She's not going anywhere. Her neck, her legs will snap out from underneath her, and she'll be legless. She'll probably kill okay. someone. Yeah, I <laughs> will put my bag on the ground because I feel like if I have my unless like how much can she carry still? Like my total weight is one hundred and sixteen right now with the with the backpack on. Yeah, let's figure it out. Does anyone have the for now? Thing? Just do it. I'll I'll get added up. But just for now, just leave it on the side, I guess. Yeah, I'll leave my bag on the side and I'll hop on Princess. All right. I'll hop just carry on. like my my bow and a dagger. Go ahead and get on just in princess. case. Okay. Also, before you jump down, let's measure out uh, south, west, and east sixty feet for me, shall you? Shall we? Okay. English help. No. <laughs> You do 60 to the east. Looks like Nyx is shooting lasers two different directions out of her eyes. Uh, we're currently 118. So you would have been fine. Okay. All right, as you get onto the back of Princess, she just kind of rears up her her front legs and is like, mm, and then he all jumps down. The sh uh, the Zephyr, can you read what the Zephyr horseshoes do? Uh, yeah, give me one sec. Do not worry, Princess. When this is over, I'll make sure to give you extra good brushies tonight. Uh, these iron horseshoes come in a set of four. While all four horseshoes are affixed to the hooves of a horse or a similar creature, they will allow the creature to move normally while floating four inches above the ground. This effect means the creature can cross uh, or stand above non-solid or unstable surfaces such as water or lava. Okay. The creature will leave no tracks, and it gets to ignore difficult terrain. That's good, because as Nyx, you look at this location, which, by the way, you can move uh, Princess Nyx if you want to move. So you two are moving synonymously. Um, as you kind of, Princess kind of trots over the water, four inches above the water, you just see darting blind fish and just murk, and long cattails, and long leaves of water foliage. It, yeah, it's a swamp. Oh. <clears throat> Question, how long does that, is that, is that like a permanent thing? That is just... infinite, as much as they want. Yeah, it's permanent. There is no time limit. But it's only for horses because yeah. it's magic yeah. horseshoes. So. Of course. Uh, Unless, of course, you play as a centaur. The other thing, uh, in addition, the creature can move at normal speed for up to 12 hours a day without suffering exhaustion. Nice. Ooh. Hmm. I don't want to spoil Fair anything. Me. I don't think that's going to happen in this game. <laughs> nah, but uh, I, I like the idea of having her floating all the time so we, sh we don't have the, the extra tracks. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll go over to the big area first and perception check or look down this way. Probably make them quieter as well. They wouldn't be making like hoof clops all the time. Come on, roll 20. Stop lagging. 
Mm-hmm. Activate Nyx eye lasers. It is at this point, Nyx. <laughs> One second, I have to read. Give me two seconds here. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, sorry. There's a typo in this, so I get a little confused. Apologies. Nothing happens. This is the wrong chamber. My bad. Okay. Okay. I mean, I was worried. Can I roll a perception check to see if I hear anything besides bugs and croaks? Sure. Uh, I'll tell you what you hear. (laughs) Zunderbrook. I don't know if it counts as a room, but yeah. Smart choice. (laughs) Uh, Did you ever happens. find a room? Oh. Let me roll through perception here. Ah, fuck. Hold on. Sorry, I'm a mess. <laughs> Gotta check a different book now or something. Wait, was there a, a nothing happens after the Zonder book? Yeah. Damn. But um, you got excited it does say. Yeah, I was it like, does well, say, uh, does oh. say, say nothing happens, then check this book. <laughs> he would do that just to be mean. Something. She'd like start rolling dice or flipping books just to throw us just off. To fuck oh, you guys I... over. Yeah, <laughs> I honestly, I've done that several times, and people fucking Sarah gets so mad at me. <laughs> like when we did Prince Division, I would just randomly roll, and Sarah's like, "You're evil. Stop it." And I'm like, "He." <laughs> Prince division. But I guess right. it's a good thing because you gotta throw them off so they don't always know when you're actually rolling for something, you know? Oh yes. yeah, my favorite is when they walk into a room. You just... As yes. you, as you're kind of looking around, you see splashes going from this area down this tiny tunnel. Okay. Like small splashes. If yeah, small splashes, okay. like U-sized splashes, I'd say. Okay. Now don't leave our vision. I'm not. I imagine like I'm gesturing and like waving and pointing down a tunnel over there to be it, and I like <laughs> go back up quickly and be like, something was splashing down one of the tunnels over there. Uh, should I still head south with the princess a bit to see if anything's oh, down what, there? What's what's down this one? Uh... Only one eye laser beam. It appears the swamp channel narrows as it continues in sort of a tunnel. I'm not looking forward to walking through this. <laughs> can I get an interesting one? Can we, can we just, like, come back later? <laughs> <laughs> this is the only one! <laughs> <laughs> the only... So, like, the only gate that we can get to that actually takes us, like, past this floor takes us to level 9, and we already know that we don't want to do that. So I'm not really even sure how we're going to get past this floor, but, you know. Yeah, it really sucks there's no level above us. Yeah, you know? yeah. Always <laughs> so the worst. Oh, yeah, you're measuring that there. Give me one second. Oh, true. We should be measuring from Princess. Princess has eye lasers. <laughs> I'm on top of Princess, yes, of course. <laughs> Uh, you do see, I'm just going to move the camera here so the lovely chat can see, uh, you do see some, I guess, mud or, like, land, I guess, uh, over here to the uh, west here. Uh, hey, there is some land, but uh, it's going to take some trekking to get to it. Correct me if I'm crazy. Uh, didn't we hear something about Dwarven Ruins past this or something like that? Like going... No, it was not west. Or am I just thinking of the key? I, I think you're just thinking of the key. So... I... One option is we could just take turns with Princess getting carried across. If you leave all the stuff on the side, it could probably carry the rest of us. Well, no, here's the question. Where, where are we going? 
which is to that land off in the distance. At the most, princess spotted. can carry one medium creature and one small creature. Cannot carry more than two creatures at a time. We can do many trips. One, one by one is one of them. Sure, yeah, split the party. Split the party? The first oh, here, person Nick, to get across is going to get ambushed the moment princess Nick, leaves. That, that's going to be a fun Nick's time. and I can climb around the wall here. Oh, God, fine. I'm just going to jump into the pit and see how deep it is. Do you do a, do you do a cannonball? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, as you, like, it is a sizable slap, and as you stand up, Lionel, you begin to sink slightly as it's two feet hmm. of water. Um, and you're like, okay, two feet of water, but then you feel like your feet sink even more, because there's also, like, a thick layer of mud at the bottom, too. Ooh. I don't think and... Nyx can walk through this. <laughs> yeah, Nyx it would be like, <laughs> you just see the top of your head. Lionel, well, think... you're like that meme image of that lady who's like playing with the kid in the pool and there's that one kid who's drowning in the front who's like, ah! Oh, <laughs> yeah, right now it's just, it's just like my shoulders and my head more than likely. As you lift up your hmm. arm too, you're just covered in mud as well. Can I, can I walk forward? You can. It's difficult terrain. So any of the tiles that contain this swampy water, you're moving at half speed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start walking. You start trudging. You got it. I'm not gonna deal with this conversation of how to cross mud. I'm. You know, I'm either gonna stay. Uh, actually, what? When I can grab my bag and I can either stay on Princess or I can climb the wall with Wisp. <laughs> but I don't think I can travel via the swamp. I think I might drown. Here, this is easier. I'm just gonna cast flight on Nyx. Fly on Nyx. Cast on me. Yeah. All right. You got fly on Nyx. Right. I'll, well, I'll Bert, climb around Bert, the wall. It'll be awkward, but I'll do it. Bert will help yeah. uh, Thaddeus onto the back of Princess. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need. I found another way. Oh, wrong person. Sorry. <laughs> I'll grab my bag so I don't forget that. That would be important. Uh, you're going to have to remind me when this is about to fail. Eh, you got about an hour. Okay. Here, I'm going to. I'm just going to start climbing around. This is going to take a minute. Are you are you fine being on Princess Bertrand? Oh, my bad. Ten minutes. Well, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I didn't think I it lasted an hour. hour. Uh, by the way, uh, Wisp, was you're like I imagine you're doing like Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. You know when Link is climbing the vines. <laughs> yes, that's you right now. By the way, absolutely fucking disgusting. It is just like if it, the wall is furry and moist, and it's not fun. <laughs> But I ah, could be furry and moist, and now I'm only slightly furry and moist. I have eaten the sewers. This is nothing. Right, do you guys want me to check out the splashing, or do we just want to head to the land? Land for now. Okay. Unfortunately, with all the princess's equipment and my armor, I don't think she'll be able to carry me. Hmm. Yeah. Right, then. Do not yeah. worry about me. I can get across. Hmm. No, I think I got it. He's going to tap him on the shoulder, and he's going to cast Fly at 5th level. And he's going to okay. tap himself as well. Okay. So is nobody hey, about a princess? Hi. Bean squad. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, Although... Bert will escort princess as they both float over the water. You got it. That is just going to Masatsu over by Lionel. Just <laughs> T-posing over the water. Do you need a hand by any chance? I'm just, I'm gonna purposefully start getting a little lower in, into the water. Just not look at this asshole. You guys just fly. Oh, right. There. He's just gonna keep continue with Satsuing over and he's gonna stay like levitating. Hmm. You know, I realized I never really could, I never thought I could do that before. Thanks for the idea, Lionel. <laughs> Like, yeah, the funny have, part like, is reed that's like a little scuba diver, like you know, snorkel going on. <laughs> I summon, I summon a scuba diver, a snorkel. You know, you could have just cast fly on yourself, but I could have stayed on Princess. It's <laughs> I or I could have is... walked along the wall. Lionel, as you pull cool. yourself out of the muck, waist down, it's just pure mud. Um, and like, <laughs> waist up, it's like, there's some algae on your shoulder, it's water, but it's like murky water. It's like... I'm gonna... Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna 
I'm going to cast Prestidigitation to throw all of this garbage onto Thaddeus. He's gonna pretty, he's gonna counter precipitation. Uh, counter precipitation. Counter precipitation. We're just gonna like sling it back at each other. We're playing tennis. <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> it's like the rhythm heaven, like the rhythm heaven game with the two, to the the cat and the dog playing tennis on the on the fucking planes. We're like da 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 da. You no, know, if you just throwing... did this yourself. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You guys are just throwing a lionel shaped mud golem at each other. <laughs> you know, if you did this to yourself, you'd be a little bit taller. You know. Ooh, look at me, trying to pretend that being tall means being important. Well, Ted, well, unfortunately for you, I am tall and important. Apparently not sure. important, important enough for the truth, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, let's get going. He's gonna, like, float over. Alright. If you have tall, tall enough, Oh, no! God damn it. <laughs> well, oh, well. I think we're back to the swamp path. As you turn around the corner, you do see in this middle nook here, an arc gate. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, you're flying above me. Oh, that's the true. The yeah. space, uh, the arc gate bears a bas relief of a female dwarf standing with her eyes closed. A keyhole is carved into the head of a stone hammer she clutches to her chest. I didn't think we'd find it that quickly. Um, well, I guess we could go back to level six. So that just goes back to level six? I thought we were looking for a, for a clone of the king. Am I crazy? Oh, she did say it had the keyhole, didn't it? It does, yeah. There is yeah. a keyhole oh. carved into the head of a stone hammer she clutches. Do you want to test it? Just to make sure. Sure. We we were able to re to take it back. So let me just. Oh, I have it. Because mm. yeah. like I could make our lives a lot easier after our next long rest and have water walking again, but I, I don't really have that right now. I'm gonna put the key in. Key right. stone. You put the key in and you twist it. The key vanishes from your hand, and the base <gasps> receive leaf vanishes as whoosh, the arc gate opens up. No, 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 Remember, when the arc gate closes, the key will come back. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't remember okay. that part. <laughs> we vanishing? It really, it really sucks we've had zero encounters today. Hmm. A minute passes. Thinking. Yeah, yeah. The key reappears and is <laughs> ejected out of the hole and onto oh, the ground. Right. Oh my god, I have a terrible memory. Thank you. Oh. Alright then, so let's just keep going. We'll just note this for later. He's gonna float back over the swamp. Come, Lionel! You have more trudging to do! How many minutes has it been? Like one. Okay. Princess walks over to you, Lionel, and she kind of like does the, the horse thing where she kind of like nudges you with her head, kind of in a friendly manner. Can she carry me? I uh, I have. You can't have like any more weight than I do, Lionel. Like yeah, I have one sixteen. Granted, I don't know how much your character itself actually weighs, but it also can't. One sixteen is more. fine. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. you can ride on her, but she she literally like you know constitutes herself in a way in which she's just like you know get on, Bucko. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Princess. I might also do a bit a bit of scouting there. ahead, by the way, just to make sure we don't have any more so dead ends. So just be sure to move with Princess now. How much how much weight can you carry, Bertrand? Uh, remaining. <laughs> yes. Uh, can carry. What is that? Uh, eighty more. I took off my heavy armor. <laughs> oh, don't you dare! <laughs> Could you jump from one wall to another? I. I... It depends how high the ceiling is, because before I've climbed across the it ceiling. Is, it is 30 feet. It is very high. Oh, I could do it, but I'm going to be slow. I would offer like, to uh... carry you, but I think I'm the wrong choice. Can you measure up 60 <laughs> feet, like, right, like this for me? Red yes. Like that. Don't move it. Just right where my arrow is. Don't, don't yes. shift around. Just put it right there for me. Thank you. Got it. Diagonally. Right there. Can't we just crawl on the wall? I can. It's just slow. It's only 10 feet uh, climb speed. 
Hmm. Uh, there is see, a bit of land. Oh, sorry, you see a shelf of land, but it's quite high up. It's 20 foot high, similar to the first piece of land that you kind of slid oh. down from. Hmm. Do you want Bert to just uh, Bert. To carry you with? Uh, I was thinking this, about it. This, this uh, tavern... Sorry, I'm just reading here. Uh, it's filled with vegetation and ankle-deep mud. Additionally, ankle there deep. is luminescent fern-like plants sprouting from the mud that fills this area with dim light. Notably, the ledge is stained with blood, and directly below it, right here, you see sticking out of the mud a severed leg wearing a boot. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, we're not going over here, and he's going to float back over. Come, Bertrand. Just give me an end destination, so I know how to start climbing to. Wisp, your world's saddest Uber is here. <laughs> I, you can. <laughs> I, I, with, with my carrying capacity, even if I took off my medium armor, I would weigh, like, 180. Or 160. Oh Lay out the cat treats. Oof. <laughs> Alright, if Bert puts his backpack on Princess, it then he can carry you. Lionel them. How much weight do we, did you weigh? <laughs> uh, 116. Total. And how much is your backpack? Oh, uh, no. Did, what, wait, what's um, uh, uh, My goodness, my brain. Zan. Zan. Or, or Bert. Either or. Bert would make more sense. Um, let's see, that's 85? Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I think at that point you're going over with Princess because she has her mm -hmm. other stuff she's carrying too. The thing is, if he's over encumbered carrying you, that only slows him down by 10. But don't forget, yeah. so, you're also like slowed down already him. by the oh, difficult terrain. Right. Well, he's flying right now. What's the flight speed? Uh, 60 feet? Yeah. Oh, well, so I... I mean, you could do it. You'd just be slowed. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm fine with that. You can carry me bridal style. Side saddle on, on Bart. It, it's okay. the Calvin and Hobbes picture, but it's reversed <laughs> for the cats on top. <laughs> okay, so we do have land down here, but it's, you know, bloody and Thaddeus is scared, so... Of course. I'm not scared, I just don't want to, you know, soil myself, that's all. So you're scared, it's okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being a coward. I realized that, you know, for a moment I thought you were talking about the mud and not the bloody mud over there and just, uh, uh, whatever. Well, there's another way around. See, this safe, this path seems far more safer. He's going to keep gonna keep going down, float over, just some satsu over. I like to imagine with Wisp and Bertrand, it's like the, the moon theme from DuckTales is playing, the DuckTales video <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> DuckTales. Hmm. Seems to be looping back around, I think. Back to the to... bloody ledge. Well, not technically the bloody ledge, but just what was past the bloody ledge, I think. And he's gonna look over here. Carol Thaddeus, you're not invincible anymore. Oh, please. I'm plenty invincible. Trust me. I was just saying oh, that. Just... <laughs> I would love it if just, like, a giant fish just, like, <laughs> and just ate him. <laughs> like, that'd be so funny. <laughs> Oh, it's oh. Well, how about this? It seems to be like careening off in another direction. He's gonna masatsu over. Do you see ahead of you, measure sixty feet down. Yes. Sixty. You see again. Dark vision does not give you details, uh, but you do see what appears to be ruins of some kind. Oh. Well, good news, I did find some land, so if you need a little bit of a break. He's gonna Masatsu back over. Right here. Okay. 
And just like look over in this general direction just to make sure. Can you measure 60 feet down for me, please? Yes. Can you measure 60 feet to the east for me, please? East? Yes. That's yeah, that's west. Other way. Oh, sorry. Weast. <laughs> sorry. Weast. At this point, Nyx, you also see the ruins, but you can't really make out any details. Did you uh, Canadians have a pneumatic for learning, like, how to easily tell north? East. Oh, north, south, east, west. Uh, my particular never eat soggy wieners. Yeah, never eat soggy wieners. Was ours. I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> there might be one. There might be one in French Canadian, but I'm not sure. Yeah, ours was it's, ours was never eat soggy wieners. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was never eat soggy waffles. Close. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know why ours was a wiener. Do you want to you know what the English one that I did was? What, what was yours? Was never eat shredded wheat. <laughs> Man, what what does that say? High, but... <laughs> high five, Shay. We're fucking freaks. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Canada, baby. Oh, West, uh, my West Canada. I, I, I... Oh, man. Dude, no, it's like Nikki. It's, it's like Nikki Nikki Nine Doors all over again. I got shit on yeah. for Nikki Nikki Nine Doors. They're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" I'm like, Nikki Nikki Nine Doors is where you, yeah. you ring someone's doorbell and you fucking run. And they're like, "You mean door? Like, what would they call it? Dip, dip, <laughs> dong ditch, ditch. dash? Dip? Yeah, what was Nikki it? Nikki Nine Doors? Ding is... dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. Yeah. God. Do you want to know the UK version of that? What? Knock and run. Knock and run. It's wow. Just simple. Forward. So, it's so just direct. simple. <laughs> like the British. Right. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, for all of our, this, the Spanish version for us here in Mexico, it was, I don't know. Because, it, it, I don't know, in Spanish is no sé. And north, no, and the whole north, south, east, and west thing is no, is north, norte, oeste, sur, e, e, este. N O S E, no sé. Ah. Is, uh, I don't know. Ah, that makes sense. So Good job, Brack. You f you destroyed I, the stream. You did it. It has it had to be the Spanish like Good language job, that Bracky. destroyed everything. Destroyed the internet. What's what's that in Spanish? Like Nova? No. <laughs> what? Well, at least you noticed it like right away. I did. Yeah. Well, my 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 computer actually gave me a warning when it crashed. So my computer goes nuts oh. if if OBS goes down. It's like OBS is dead, and it's like ah. <laughs> Be so, afraid, the, moment, the moment I looked over at OBS and I had zero streaming, like my uh, kilobytes were were at zero, so I was like, "Oh shit, okay, it did crash." Happened Sorry, right Chad. in the middle of riveting conversation. Yeah, that we were, we're all me we were all <laughs> memeing on each other. Oh, I should have used that chance to get me a water, but we're back. It's no worries, you guys. Never eat soggy wieners. Never yeah. eat soggy wieners, guys. Never eat soggy wieners. This happens. Oh. Fuck, every good boy deserves fudge. Fuck that shit. Yeah. I hate a musical theory. I want to die. Anyway. All right. Kids prefer cheese over fried green spinach. Uh, That's uh, oh, Lionel. <laughs> Lionel, do you have light source or are you just going blind? I always do. You do? Okay. As you this... bring the light source forward, this structure ahead of you seems to be long and you notice it has like a texture to it. Ooh. Gonna get closer. Okay. Out of my way, green man. Oh, as trust me. You... you get closer. You watch as Princess kind of looks in her ears pin badge, goes, <laughs> kind of rears back and kind of yeah. like seems nervous for some reason. Oh, no. The always... told me to stop. Wait. Always listen to Princess. <laughs> oh, except Bertrand. Bertrand's going to go in. He's the Bertrand, hero we all deserve. As you peek <laughs> around the corner, the you see something. You see a ghostly image of a male human warrior in plate armor wandering around this ruin, and he seems to be searching for something. He's right here. Is that like a ghost searching for something? Ghostly image. 
It appears there's a specter around the corner. Notably, as you all kind of look at this, this ruin isn't... It, it's ruins, but it's not like a building. And I would say, Lionel, with your intelligence, your base intelligence, this appears to be a giant black stone statue of a snake swallowing its own tail. And you can mm. tell at this point is where the head and the tail meet, and it's swallowing it. Mm. May I do a history or a kind of check to see if this kind of a iconography is? Oh no! Oh, I'm good at religion. Maybe. <laughs> I'm. Mm, you know what? It's too. It's early, but I'm going to make sure this happens. Right, I'm gonna yeah. use my hero point. Hero point. You got it. Reroll. Twenty two. Your blood runs cold, and you instinctively step away. This appears to be a statue, not a not a ruin, but a statue of Dendar the Night Serpent, the oh. Yuan Ti god of nightmares and despair. Oh, mm. oh Duncan Rump on this bird, no. Oh no, oh we need to leave. We need to go right now. Why? This is Yuan Ti religious shit. This is dangerous. It's very dangerous. We just continue flying on past. Mm. I don't know if we can just go around it. Well, I certainly can. He's gonna float away. Yeah, how long have we been flying? Like four or five minutes? Say about five minutes now. We got five yeah. minutes left. Yeah, let's keep going. We need to not miss this. Oh god, that means there are Yuan Ti around. Those birds are holding out. Good, it's you know. Yuan Ti are like normally religiously like devout snake people who sacrifice living creatures to their gods. Yeah. Oh, um, good thing. Does that mean the specter might not be like evil though? He might have been like a sacrifice. What type of specter is that? You said you said a warrior, but is a human? Race? Yeah, he's a human. Human. He seems to be looking for something. You want to try talking to him from like a distance to see if he tries to attack us or per se? Can you speak ghost? Uh, don't ghosts just understand whatever language they had when they died? Yeah, it depends on the one. ghost. But I'm usually... a little nervous. I'm still. I'm. Just, I still have my my blood is still cold. <sighs> I am willing to speak to them if you wish. I prefer you over Thaddeus. What? Why? He does have <laughs> a better track record. Yeah, he does. But uh, yeah, let's just let's see what the, if the spirit has any messages for us or warnings or anything. I don't know. The uh, last time we were warned by a specter, we didn't Nyx, listen to any of the warnings and, and got attacked. Nix, I do beg of you to make a good a good perception check to keep an eye out for you, Auntie. Do you want me to do that now before we talk to the specter? Uh, to, basically, to keep an eye out. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Should I roll a perception check now? Yeah, roll, roll an active perception check. 25. 25? I mean, it's hard. The water, there's, like, murk everywhere. It's very dim. It's low light as well. And, like, you, you're used to, like, you know, spanning out movement, but the water is moving because, you know, there's a horse above it and, you know. But you don't see anything. You see, like, the structure and you just see the general sort of presence of the cave, but you don't sense any creature except for the apparition behind you. With my 25 perception, I've been told that I don't sense anybody but the water, so I think yeah. you're good. Just, just keep an eye out. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll keep my eye out. How high cool. above the uh, floor are we floating? Uh, he, he'll be, like, maybe a few inches off the ground. Okay. He's not going to, like, descend upon this ghost. Where is he exactly? Like, over here, or...? He's, like... I'm using my normal computer. He's like right, like around here. He seems to be pacing between like here and here. Good morrow, fellow. There's movement and there's no response. 
They just keep doing what they're doing. Hello? And can you hear us? They don't respond. They just keep doing what they're doing. Sonderbrook? <laughs> 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 Nothing happens. Okay. And I instead perception check the ground area to see if I can see something shiny or something in the ground that he's looking for. Uh, I'd say I'd carry over your, your 25 from earlier. Um, you don't see anything. It's just the worn bits and chunks of, of stone from this statue that's just kind of fallen apart. Is he and, now as, the light? and now as the light hits it, it is black stone as well. Mm. Perhaps uh, the, I think... the specter does not care for our presence or they cannot hear us. Is he like oh, we have to make a decision soon. Uh, we've only got a couple of minutes left on this fly spell. And if we... Well, if it's as bad as Lionel says it is, I suggest we keep moving. Is the specter like taking guard? Is it like no? What's its stance? They are just aimlessly wandering, searching for something. Ah, uh, because we're going to fly around to the other side of the broken rebel. If you're looking for something, we can keep our eyes out. They kind of squat and look to be, like, digging through something, but nothing is moving. Hmm. Is he, like, trying to dig at the ground? Yeah, like, he's shifting something, but he's actually not touching anything. And for a moment, he stops, and he gets up, and he starts looking around again. If we have a better view now, I'm gonna actually going to step up further a little bit like here. Can we see what the star is? Uh, that like indicates statue. that this is a statue. So, oh, gotcha. Yeah, this so entire thing. This, this entire thing is a statue. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. Um, we could always, like, Lionel, if you want to cast detect magic, see if there's anything hidden under here. <laughs> if you give me ten minutes. Uh, okay. We'll lose the flying though. Mhm. Mm you can get on on on, on princess. That is, if you want me to cast detect magic. Uh Mm. Uh, leave it. Well, it's not just my decision, so I have to ask everybody else first. I don't know. Uh, All I know is if I'm just... okay. going into that swamp, I'm probably gonna take off my armor. I don't want to risk it getting deep and not being able to get up. <laughs> well, Bertrand could get you, I think. I think it counts as swimming. And he has that ring. Here's the thing. If, okay. I can try to cast. Uh, uh, Either way, we're running out of time. Yeah, we're running out of time. We, we better move. Okay, where are you guys going? Oh, I wanted to help him. <laughs> uh, measure, well, we... measure south for me next, actually. Right. Okay, you wanna. You wanna do, let's. Let's take, let's take it about. Oh, that's yeah. always gone fantastically. <laughs> hey, just don't just don't avoid voting this time around. I. It's all about democracy. No, maybe if everybody was here to vote, it would have gone differently. Okay. Hmm. Wait, vote about what? No, don't, don't worry about. Don't worry about it. About it. It's, um, we voted to see uh, what ice we cream. We voted for nothing. Good. There was no yeah. voting. <laughs> We voted on what fruit Bertrand should eat when he goes to the surface next time, because he's only ever eaten bone meal at the end. What? Let me guess. A banana? No, I was thinking I like plums. to imagine everyone takes out their weapons all at once and then immediately stows them again. <laughs> oh, like, Skyrim has, like, oh. like Skyrim NPCs, like, shing, shing, and then shing, shing. <laughs> When you say banana, Bertrand has, like, a fucking knob flashback for a second. <laughs> 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 Oh, you auntie, you auntie, you auntie. Hey, there's a few different paths. So, this way? You wanna... Yeah. You wanna see where this goes, though? He said southeast first. Nix, go ahead and measure yeah, for me. Continue moving away to... from where we came in from for now, just, I guess. Yeah. Nix is just fucking beelining it. Go ahead and measure for me. I don't want to... We have like what a couple like a few minutes left. Yep, we need to we need to fly. 
I don't want to fly towards wieners. Nyx. Wiener. You see ruins. More ruins. This one appears to be of some sort of building, though. There used to be a building over here. There used to, or there is one? It's ruins now. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, I'm having freaking D6 best TSD right D6. now. D6. Yeah. Oh, you want to hear who who funny. Oh, he he who who funny. Get a little bit of this. That's like submerged, half submerged, right? It's half submerged and crumbling, let me describe it here. Uh, it is dominated by a ruin, and as you bring the light closer to reveal more of it, uh, you notice that the interior walls are covered in carvings of snakes with fanged maws and open ophidian eyes. You can also see that there is a statue. Uh, this statue contains a black stone statue of a masked, hooded, mailed humanoid dressed in leather armor and clutching a dripping dagger in each hand. And you notice, uh, with the light kind of flickering, as the light kind of comes in, a bunch of centipedes kind of skitter away from the light. And it's covered in centipedes. Ugh. Mm. Like the statue... They're like statue centipedes, or like live centipedes are crawling live over Live centipedes are crawling all over it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna give us one a miss, spam. <laughs> Is Bertrand not good with bugs? No, oh, no. It's just, uh... <laughs> I don't think anyone, whether you're cool with bugs or not, wants to deal with a, a more than one centipede. Yeah, am I? Might... Mm. Yeah. Do not run away. We run away. <laughs> Check where where's it coming from. It seems Which way do we run? From the ruins. Uh, that depends. <laughs> <laughs> if you're no, gonna last talk time... scary like that, we're gonna run away. Last oh. time statues talked to us, it didn't well. You must Never trust statues. Forgive my nature. And you see operating before you in the entrance of this ruin a ghost. Oh. Where are my manners? I am your star. You must be outsiders. Yep. Yes. We're all hearing well, this, yeah. right? You all see yeah, it too. Yeah, Bertrand, it's not, not oh, in goodness. your head this time, Bertrand. It's okay. Uh, okay. This one's real. I, this what one can make. Is brings you to Slither Swamp. Are you trying to get lower into the dungeon? Ah, I see, I see. This place is treacherous and dangerous indeed. The way is barred to get lower. Let me, uh, me just spell the, uh, the girl's name. Yeah, but... I can write the, type that out for you. Thank you. Yeah, I put a question mark behind it whenever I'm not confident. Yeah, it's an S. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yo oh, I wasn't even close. Oh, still. Not Toastal, it's <laughs> Yo oh. is stall. Yo is stall, there you go, okay. sorry. My bad. I like Toastal. <laughs> oh, I like Toastal. Uh, she... Toastal. I'm trying to see if there's a description of her. Uh, she's wearing a soiled black gown, and is wearing a featureless white mask. Oh. Uh, is it, like, does it have, like, a le like human legs and arms? Or is They're it... a ghost. You don't see any legs. It's just oh, ghost bits. There's arms, though. But they're kind of hidden in the room. Yeah, they're hidden in the robe. 
She said the way to the next floor is barred, right? Yeah. Barred by what? Sethian scourges have barred your way. They of queens of Slither Swamp, with magic great, have too sealed my spirit to this place. Good luck with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Beef still? Seems strong. I'm sure you'd have no trouble dealing with them. The, Who are these people again? They are known as the Sethian Scourge. Yes. Two spirit Nagas that have taken refuge and kingdom here. Can I insight this ghost? I just want to see what sort of yeah, if I can it. get any emotions coming off of it. Well, so let us yeah, know when there's uh, a oh, minute actually... left. Don't fly. Oh, no. No, I think it's gone by this point. We've been talking for a bit. I mean, if... yeah, if it's if I was trying I mean... to see if she was lying about something, it would be more because I get like a minimum seven, but I, I, I'm just doing a general insight. So. She is hard to read. She's a fucking ghost. Um, the, the, the throwing you off a little bit. You don't get a real read on her, given the lack of facial expressions and, and body language entirely. She's just kind of hovering there side to side. Why were you sealed? Because my people failed to protect our lands here. And so the Sethian Scourge has remained... But a new foe has resided here. Are they the type that uh, um, chop off legs and leave them off of ledges? Perhaps. Hmm. You, you, you want to give us some more information about those guys? And what would you have to offer an aimless spirit? Latched and locked to this desolate place. Kind of just sounds like you want us to defeat the people on this land to unseal you. And if you be willing, then I be willing as well. This isn't going to be one of those things where you, you attack us afterwards, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he's going to tell us right now. <laughs> we can we can see if they're going to lie to us. If you <laughs> you were <laughs> if you were to ally yourself with the Sethian scourges, then yes, I would take quite trouble with you. But you seem like you're smart. I am very I, smart. I feel like we may have a mutual enemy in this. Circumstance. The truth, it is true. We need to get, we need to, if they are blocking our path, we kind of need to get rid of them. It depends. Do you know of any art gates on this floor that lead directly to floor 10? I do not, I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> and the Sethian Scourge is, is the Tunagas? They are two Poison. spirit knockers, yes. Poison. Let me grab their names mm. real fast. Well, so as as the flight runs out and we slowly float down, I, I'm not getting oh. out of your arms, Bertrand. I'm going to grab onto a wall. <laughs> you just going to oh. stay oh. in your arms. Oh, no. No, 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 This isn't happening. Uh, uh, the second this, like, boots touch the, the, the muck, he's going to, like, instantly print his dictation. One second, sorry, I'm trying to find names. Give me two seconds yeah. here. Your, your presentation every time it gets mod as you're sinking. Yeah, he's just gonna keep doing it until like builds a barrier around him. You he's do know it. Like... You do know it takes six seconds to cast every time, right? There were three. I will do it. I will do it as many times as I have to. There were. He's just gonna keep doing it again. There were three Naga, but one is no more. 
Oh. And what killed the th what killed the third naga? We did. Hmm. Hexacol is nice. dead, but her it's her sister her sisters remain. Excrutha and Sarakath remain. They reside south of here, and she points through the ruins. Through these ruins, directly to the south is their domain. Their thralls protect them. Is there land over there? There is indeed caverns as well. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> And the entrance to the next floor is through the territory, I assume. Yes. Sounds like a good start. I we could explore for terribly we... if I uh, float past you for a moment. Into the temple? Yes. You are welcome to it. Sonderbrook! Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, one second. Let me check here real fast. You have cursed this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the curse piece, of Sunday. Come out of the wall. <laughs> Starts melting. Uh. All right. Yeah, this is those older people. There's a crack in the wall here. Uh, yeah, Sunderbrook does not work. I'm very sorry. Okay, that was a lot of ado for I, nothing. Else. The layout of this layer is kind of weird, so, like, reading mm -hmm. is, like, I'll get, like, this ruin and, like, everything else that's nearby it, which Fair is enough. not... Sometimes it's just, like, oh, the, the water's this deep, or, like, this is here, and it's just, like, cool. That's a lot of reading. So, apologies. I just... There's a lot of statues that I have to read about because there's a statue... There are statues in here. It's all good. There's so much statue lore. Are there other creatures in the swamp that we should be worried about? I saw something splashing around earlier. Ah, where did you come from, exactly? Points in general direction. <laughs> ah, the, the north. The north is home to the black tongues. The black tongues? Yes, a large clan of bullywug. They found their way here after mine and my own were destroyed. How long ago was that exactly? Half a year. Because this maybe? place looks old. A year longer? My sense of time is skewed. Mm. One day they all appeared as if out of nowhere and quickly made home with their leader. Hmm. Take it they're not the most friendly of folk. Indeed. No, they are not. And their leader is rumored to be particularly nasty. Monty, may I do a roll to see what I know of Dream Nagas? Dream? You mean uh, Spirit Naga? Spirit Naga, sorry. Uh, yeah, roll an arcana check. Question mark? Question mark? A roll arcana question mark. 18. 18. Let me grab them real fast. No worries. Where the heck is my index? Oh, come on. Um, let's see, two seconds here. Also, Bertrand, I'm sorry, but your your movement speed is like five right now. It's being reduced by ten for me, and then to fifteen for the difficult terrain. When one asks for uppies, they get uppies. <laughs> uh, you got an eighteen. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, spirit novels right? live in gloom and spitefulness. <laughs> oh, they insane. are ever constantly plotting vengeance against creatures that have wronged them or that they believe have wronged them they love to mm. layer in dismal caverns and ruins and they devote their time to developing new spells and they love to enslave mortals <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, in, a, in a nutshell uh, scary 
Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. By themselves, mm. it's pretty bad. There's two of them. Oh, boy. Why isn't it like, oh, you rolled high. They like to blow kisses. So <laughs> no. They're nice. I'm sorry. They the love... higher you roll, the more of the truth you get. So. Yeah, they love humanity. <laughs> they give out cupcakes every Monday. It's great. Yeah. Uh, uh, made out of your flesh. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, guys. That is going to be a hard one, not gonna lie. But we need kind of get... Do I know if they are like the Aboleth? Do they have any con any like control or vision over their domain? You're not sure. Not with that role. I'm sorry. Sure. Got it. No, no I, just, I just need to be sure. We are gonna need to either deal with them or. Sneak past them, but I'm not entirely sure. You're gonna have to deal with them one way or the other. I just say this is the worst floor. And you said yeah, you said there are bullywogs further yes. north. To the north, yes. Hey, what is a bullywog? They are. I would assume it's a frog people. Um, frog people. Hmm. They would covet poison like we did. Mm. So they collect poison. Are they under the Naga's control? No, they are at war with them. But they are not ones to ally with either. Spiteful evil creatures that they are. Great. We have we are in between a knife and another knife. And neither of the knives wants to cooperate. What about the random spirits on this floor? We saw one over by the other statue trying to look for something. The human are they ghost. something to be concerned about? I am not aware of this, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they are sealed in, in the in here. Are you sealed to the temple or to the statue? To the temple. This is a holy place. It once was. Mm. Well. Okay, so spirit naga or a bunch of poison frogs. That well, we probably can't see coming because they're gonna come from the swamp. Not only that, the poison frogs are not gonna help us or anything. And there's and land. We have no reason to go after them. Yeah, there's, there's land, land to the north. south. <laughs> At least we'd our be wisp. fighting on our own terms. <laughs> they Wait, both kind of suck, but <laughs> I feel like we have more options if we go south. Yeah. Because we will be fighting, we will be fighting a war against two other people who are fighting each other. My vote south. south. Yep. Any other votes south? I'm not sure. I don't really think we have any better options. It seems um, like our hands are tied here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I need help getting across, though. I don't want to drown. The princess oh. can pick you up. Into the, into the depth here. Hold on, I want to see how it is here. I uh, will clean you first before you get on Princess. Notably, to... uh, there's actually water trickling from the ceiling. Uh, just on top of this ruin constantly. It's like a gentle trickle. Is yeah. it like clean water? Uh, as you kind of put your hand into it, yeah. It appears to be like uh, cleanish. I mean, it's been running cleaner. down the wall. Yeah, so it's cleaner. I thank you. If you have need of me, I will be here for you. And well, the ghost there... gently vanishes away. I'm going to assume that means we can rest here. I don't want to rest here. It's not land. Yes, I'm not. I'm not resting in this filth. Yeah, it is literally filled with water and filth. <laughs> it's and and statues covered in centipedes. I, I can easily fix that. It's a swamp. It'll just refill up. I can easily fix that. 
<laughs> Get some new magic spell. You just give me 10 minutes and I can make a, a, a full house for us. Yeah, Lehman's climbing tiny hut. <laughs> yeah, baby. I don't want to go into any more small houses. It's actually quite roomy in there. <laughs> No, no, Bertrand. Not the next one, no, but to begin with, Bertrand, shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, what are you talking did. about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know anymore. Oh. To be fair, there was more of a small castle <laughs> than Bertrand. A small house. We're not allowed to talk about it. Dice in the castle. We are going to move to the south. Uh, yeah, she hmm. said past the ruins. She said so through the ruins that you're currently. Oh, so through the said, ruins. To give yeah. you an idea, she pointed it this way. Gotcha. gotcha. I yeah. thought she meant south. No, she meant like this way south. No. Nah. When she, she said north, when she said northwest, it was really hard not to say never wieners, <laughs> <laughs> which is also really funny because there's a never winter in the setting. God, I really hope Bosco never hears about our shit. <laughs> oh. He might have already though. I think we had a conversation about this before. Well, I also heard the conversation where you know the crisscross like sitting style is apparently not what you use in America, so. <laughs> yeah, you what? don't use crisscross applesauce, which is bullshit. Or just I, I certainly naked. grew up with that. What the fuck? He was saying like Indian style, like it's that... just okay. that's, that's that's probably a Why... Midwest thing. Why okay. do all your countries do all these crazy things? It's just called sitting cross-legged. Yeah, that's what it, it's either crisscross applesauce or yeah, cross-legged. Crisscross applesauce cute. is cute when you're a child. Because it's cross-legged. It's just yeah, crisscross applesauce. Uh, it is at this point that your flying spell begins to fade, as it's been easily ten minutes at this point between examining, you know, your options, the arc gate, and these two ruins now. Which, by the way, you have not had an encounter yet, so just keep that in mind. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, so none. No true, encounters. we've had no encounters today, not a <laughs> single one. Apparently not. As that he just like sinks down to the ground, he's just gonna immediately like expulse like a fucking. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's presentation. two. It's two feet deep. Good luck. You just sink into the water, and it's two he's feet. Just yeah, two feet deep. You know, he's just gonna keep the, doing it the, on every step. Ugh, get for it the off, gnome, get that off. means a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no way to have any kind of. gonna be floating backwards, like because he's got a swim speed of forty, holding. <laughs> Like, kind of kicking his legs while holding Wisp above him. <laughs> Try and keep him uh, dry. Thaddeus and Nyx, as you enter into this space, you see another statue. This one is a green statue uh, that has no description at all. Cool. Excellent. Good. It looks similar to the black statue, but like seems to be like a different green. interpretation of the oh, same it's... individual. It's green. Oh, is this one going to talk to... It's green, it's fat, it has like two little tooth, like trumpets instead of ears. No, it is not Shrek. You are not in it's Shrek's a... swamp, <laughs> Bracky. Um, it's a thin individual, humanoid individual. Um, if anybody wants to, they can make a religion check, I guess. Uh, we would like to do so. I will always we do a religion those. check. I'm great at those. Yeah, cleric, do a religion check. Hold on. Yeah, cleric. Here it comes. Oh, Bertrand. <laughs> oh my goodness, Bertrand. Okay, now I feel like I have to just because everybody else. How are you? Oh, right. Jesus Christ, you guys. All right, 23, 20, 14. Uh, Wisp and Nyx, you have no idea what this is. Bertrand, That's all right. uh, you've heard of this god because you remember particularly an instance where in Skullport there were people smuggling, uh, like, um, I guess emblems of this god or like you know uh, holy symbols of it uh, this is S uh, I'm gonna fuck this up Seseth uh, also known as Mershalk which is the chief god of the reptilian Yuan Ti a chaotic evil mastermind of traps poison and murder which probably explains the dripping daggers uh, kind of barely keeping his head above water that's a that's a bad statue and Lionel, you also pick up on the same thing. Though you know him not to be depicted as, like, a human, you've seen him depicted as a flying snake with his fangs bared. Well, that's curious. So this is a different interpretation, it appears. Hmm. Hmm. So, bad god. Well, Probably why I haven't heard of them. I mean, he's Yuan Ti, they always were. For the most part. I feel like that's racist. 
in a way. I heard that. I okay. Look, yes, listen. She, she heard, they heard that. The first statue we found was about the god of nightmares that this lives on spite. Do you oh, really wait. want to? Let me swim back. Thunderbird. Look, all of... nothing happens. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that you maybe should be a bit more understanding. Oh, okay. I I will be most understanding as I cut off your heart to sacrifice it to a god. Well, not I'm not talking about the snake god. I'm just talking about the sneeple. This... You measure sixty feet down for me. Did you just? <laughs> what? The snake people. The sneeple. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like you have a like a like a. <laughs> you're about to sneeze. A list. You, you have a sneeple. list, and you're talking about nipples. Nix, roll a stealth check for me, and I need <laughs> okay. I need the mule to roll a stealth check as well. <gasps> what the heck is the mule stealth? Twenty two for me. Uh, actually, um... I have her stats up. Let me check. Uh, it's just a flat d20. Oh, okay, not Bertrand. You mean she doesn't have expertise and stuff? No, she does not have expertise. Oh, no! Damn! Okay, okay. Hell yeah, she let's tipped go. Over. Give me one second here. Where the fuck are you? Not you. I need you. God, this is a well-loved month, Emmanuel. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're, wait, wait up. They're doing a stealth check. Oh. Yeah, you can't move. Nyx, Nyx, what the fuck did you want to do? Oh, those, those, I can't count. Oh. Sorry, one second. Like I said, the layout of this is very weird, so just give me some patience. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, you guys both succeed as you skirt forward. <clears throat> uh, Nick's roll a perception check for me, please. Uh, 13, not my best. Not the best. You feel like you kind of hide yourself and you feel something move to the south. Like a flash of a cape or something, you swear you saw it, but you kind of slow and don't move. Kind of hold my hand up to like hold everybody else back and like signal not to move. Mm. Guys, something was up ahead. I don't know what though. Uh. Should we just keep going? Uh, it might be difficult for those in the swamp to kind of go quietly. Oh, don't worry, I got you covered. He's just constantly blasting, like, on every step. I'm not technically covered, as you can see. I would think you are. We can no, go before you to make sure it's you're, safe, if you wish. You're in two feet deep of swampy water. I don't think your prestigizations. That's well, listen, I'm doing the best I can now, out on now, our time. How about you come up here with me and we take the lead up front? Okay. Oh, I forgot Wisp is on you. <laughs> 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 I suddenly feel like I would be better off just maybe taking the lead on this one. I, I, mean, I can't imagine. Basically, Bert, Bert's back, or Bert's like, it's kind of backstroke swimming with just his legs. With his hands up holding Wisp because he can't see. Wisp has to like pull his arm left or right to tell him to turn it. Like a runner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, I don't... We need... Okay. We need to get to land. <laughs> this is gonna there be a is place. land Let's down go. there. It's just that there's something else down there. I all I saw was a cloak. Listen, let's just get there. We'll deal with it if it becomes a problem. Okay, we'll try to do it quietly. Yep. Stop right if we there. Are worded... As you okay. proceed oh. forward, you see now the cloak that you saw earlier, but unfortunately your perception check was not yeah. enough. Flipping around, pointing crossbows at you, you see coming around some rocks. Give me one second here. Don't you dare shoot, princess. I will murder. I kill before for Jeez. princess I would again. Drow. Decked <sighs> out to the nines with full, like, they're wearing, like, actual armor, 
and have oh, real God. weapons, and I need everyone to roll initiative as they get a surprise round oh, on you. Oh no! I thought they had fake weapons. Nope. They oh got man. Very real weapons. Where is my notebook? Do cover. I need to roll uh, for Princess, or can she move with oh. me? Uh, eight. She is technically part of your movement. I will say. Okay. Also, like once we're all done, like like setting the turn order, can we take a quick break here? Because like I gotta go yeah, to the bathroom. Yeah, this is a fantastic yeah. time. Everyone, roll initiative, and uh, we'll get to the combat. Nice natural twenty, Lionel. Thank Ooh. you. I practice a lot. Yeah, thank you. You're so. You know what? Uh, I've got some water. Yeah, I'll be right I'm back. using my hero point. Are you? Okay. 17. Better. That is much better. I'm gonna go grab a drink myself. I will be right back. I'm also okay. gonna be RB. Not every cool decked out drow is Drizzit, for Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I do love my Drizzit socks you got me for Christmas, Shay. They're very fun. That one, those ones might actually have been from my parents. Was that from your parents? I think, I think awesome. that was from my parents. I my parents got my, you those. I need to get my tankard out here. I, I finally, like, after so long, I finally washed the blanket. Now I have my dragon blanket, and I love it so much. <laughs> Shit is comfy. I know. My, my heater broke in my room, so I've been using that big cat blanket that my parents got me. It's very, very thick and very cozy. Especially with how cold it's been the last couple of days. <laughs> okay. okay. How you doing, chat? Spellcasters, are we, uh... Oh, they're both. Never mind. People are still here. gone, yeah. 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 We're entertaining chat right now, which I want to call Hi, chat. out. Uh, again, sorry that the stream crashed. I have no idea what happened there, but uh, we'll hopefully tag that together when I upload it to YouTube. Uh, but Albedo, thank you so much that you're on sub for 11 months. Hey, Monty, what happened last session? There wasn't a last session. You missed it. Yeah. Because it didn't exist. Didn't exist. I imagine Boo Radley's gonna go and watch the last episode when you upload it to YouTube. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's all my VODs are available, too. You can, you can, uh... You yeah, can watch true. all my VODs for free, so... You could just go and watch the VOD. I am back! How are you doing on spells? Firebolt! Oh, fair enough. <laughs> so Spell I, I need water. I'll be right back. Spell slots is completely fine. Line, okay, okay. You're level 10. You're good. Yeah. Well, level 10 is big boy spell time. I don't know what you're talking about. I only have one cantrip. You have a cantrip? I do. A forest gnome gets a cantrip. I have a minor illusion cantrip. Ooh. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I have used it before. I uh, made it look like a bag of treasure that we stole. I uh, made it look like a chicken once. Um, I made it look like me before. <laughs> that's the impressive one. It fit, It's a minor illusion that fits into a five foot cube square whatever, so you know what? It can make a me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm small enough. Well, Bert can cast right. sword. I'm back. And second, <laughs> and second of all, no, I won't watch the VOD. I'm going to confession out of you myself. <laughs> That's perfect. The, the less you know, the better. <laughs> Shout out to Boo Radley watching the VOD right now. That's for you later. <laughs> yeah, he's scrolling through. He can look at my notes. I made them very vague, but he can try and piece together. <laughs> <laughs> he will find the truth. Seek the truth. Want the truth. Bearer seek seek less. <clears throat> I am back. 
happen. Now we're dealing with crowd, so they're part of like being. The, they did say they had trolls, so it makes sense oh. that we're gonna be dealing with this. <clears throat> Why do you have to be drow? Right? We have a history with drow, all sure of us. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's give Lionel. Make the match for 20. I love D&D &D notes. Everything is underlined red because they think you spelled everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I will have you know, never wiener is in my notes, though. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> now, for this combat, don't forget about the difficult terrain. Yep. And well, if you're encumbered I mean... as well. Listen, my movement speed is zero. I'm grappled. <laughs> uh, I think I'm the only one with uh, complete movement, and that's only because of princess. <laughs> Yeah, dead last, baby. Woo. Uh, oh, shit, I forgot about Nyx. <gasps> How rude. I'm sorry, I didn't see your 14. I'm very sorry. All right. I'm not that small. Is everybody back? Ready to go? Oh, Chat, are you ready? Draken, Draken Knight is ready with a 300 bits with Swamp Fight! What? Swamp Fight! Ooh. Swamp Fight! Swamp Fight. Be careful if you're opening My something into your frog. microphone. I think someone's crinkling something or something like that because I just heard oh, like. Sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> I'm just excited Alrighty. for the swamp knight. So unfortunately, I was opening a snack. due to their successful stealth check, they do get a surprise round on you. Lionel, however, you got a natural twenty, technically mm -hmm. beating out their initiative order, so you are not surprised. Is oh. how I'm going to be treating that. So you go first. It is your turn, Lionel. As you immediately, your instincts raise. You can feel the vibrations in the water. You're becoming one with the swamp. And I you see the, the, the two drow turn the corner, raising hand crossbows. Yeah, what do you do? I think, uh, remind me, uh, slow movement on 25 feet of movement. How much is that? 10 or 15? Ten. It rounds ten. down, so it's 10. Yeah. 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 I am the swamp, and I'm gonna throw a fireball to where in that direction. Okay. Okay. Uh, see if I can throw it. Let me click it. Just reminding myself. Uh, that's not what I meant to use. Okay, 150 feet. Yeah, I can do whatever. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. absolutely. Center. Okay. Gonna catch both of them. You got it. All right. I'll roll for the first one. Dexterity saving throw. Yes. If anything, uh, I'll throw it a little like further just to see if I cover anything. Oh no, I cannot see that far. I'll, I'll do just. Uh, twenty-five for the one on the left. Yep. That's gonna. This sixteen is the magic number. Uh, and then twenty-two for the one on the right. They both okay. nimbly dodge and duck out of the way, but they still take half, so they both take ten. Then fire damage. But these are incredibly well-trained drow soldiers. Mm -hmm. All right, it is now the drow's turn. And you are a nice juicy target right there. As long as it's me and not princess. Now Even if I do get poisoned. <laughs> This one moves forward and is aiming the hand crossbow at you. They have advantage because of the surprise round. That is going to be a 23 to hit. Yeah, yeah. that will hit. I need a constitution saving throw, please. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that is a failure. Do I get knocked unconscious again? You take... Do you have a hero point? I don't think it will help. I have I have a one on constitution saves. I think I've succeeded on one constitution save in this com entire campaign. You take <laughs> six points of piercing damage, and yes, since you failed by five or more, you are now unconscious and poisoned. 
Yeah. Oh no. At oh. least you're not in the water. <laughs> I would not drown yet. even if I was alive in the water. <laughs> so you are unconscious and poisoned. Taking a little sick nap. You're, you're the good. second drow shifts. Somebody forward. hit me and wake me up. And is gonna aim a shot towards Princess. <gasps> no! Oh no! With I teleport right now. Completely <laughs> illegal. I will kill. That was almost a natural twenty. I shit you not. Um, mm. But that is gonna be a nineteen to hit Princess. Who did I it? will Which murder. One? Which one did it? Can someone roll a d20 plus one on the con save, please? I'm gonna put her fate in your hands. Bertram, this is to you. Bertram, Bertram, you. you... Bertram. Oh, d20 plus what? Uh, d20 plus one. She has a plus one to her con. 14. 14? She passes. She no. takes. Uh, she takes. One second, I'm doing math real fast. She takes nine points of damage, leaving her at two HP. Um, <gasps> she is not poisoned. And she does not fall unconscious, but you hear you hear the arrow strike her in the chest, and he lets off this blaring mule, like this cry of pain as she is struck. Which one did it? Which uh, one did it? It is this one right here. Did it? That son of a bitch. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> 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 that ends the drow surprise round. Top of the turn, or Lionel? It is now your turn. Uh. Mm. 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 By the mm. way, Nyx is like slawing off uh, Princess at this point. Like she's like, like you know a kid in a car seat where their head is just lulled back. Like her back is mm -hmm. currently like, she's just lying flat on her back on the back of Princess at the moment. Uh, let me just read something real quick. I'm gonna do something stupid, you guys. Do it. For princess. Uh, I'm going to request Princess to trust me. Okay. Do it, Polymorpher. Mm. <laughs> Yo. Mm, I mean, she's been, she's in the combat, apparently. Is it Monkey Mule? Is it time? Monkey Mule! It can be either Monkey is, is this allowed, Monty? Can we just do Monkey Mule? Or... Yeah, we can do God. Monkey Mule. Why can't okay. we? Donkey yeah, Kong! Just... I you just sure. create Rajang. I'm, go I'm going to heal Princess. <laughs> <laughs> by making big monkey. Monkey. Nyx goes with, by the way. Nyx <laughs> is attached to her. <laughs> she feels so safe and comforted. And she pounds her chest. You're concentrating on Polymorph now. Yep. And guess what? Even if I get damaged, that concentration cannot be broken. Thank you, 10th level. Ooh. Alrighty, Lionel, that ends your turn. It is now the uh, drought. No, I will move. I will move <laughs> ten feet back. Ten feet away. Good job, brave boy. <laughs> Run away, <laughs> you coward. Uh, it is now the drow's turn again. Uh, the hmm. the one on the left pulls out what appears to be a horn, and just. <laughs> blows into it. Hey, I think we have one of those. That You're is right. their action. The other drow... With disadvantage, is gonna aim their hand crossbow towards you, Bertrand. Do I have any sort of cover because I'm mostly in the water? Uh, no, not at all. They okay, have advantage. Enough. They have a higher advantage, so they don't have any issues. Fair enough. Okay, I rolled the same thing twice. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 will hit. 19 will hit. All right, I did con save for you. Okay. Oof. Come on, Bert. 23. Nice. You shrug up the drow poison as it strikes you in the chest, uh, but you do take 10 points of piercing damage from the arrow shot. Okay. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm just reading stuff here. Alright, that ends the drow's turn. Bertrand, it is now your turn. As you've been shot, you're wet. Princess has a has well now, 
uh, before was shot, but now just has an arrow out of her monkey titty because she's a monkey now. Um, monkey titty. But it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, Bert is going to swim 40 to here. You got it. And then action wisp. Do to I move him onto with... land? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember you're carrying someone, so your movement is halved. Uh, yeah, so he will move and then use the action to move again. So 20 and then okay. 20, so it's 40. I'm going to be uh, fair here. Wisp is behind you on the tiles. Wisp is still behind you on the tiles. Fair so. enough. Um, then he will use a action surge to throw Wisp onto land. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow that. <laughs> That's Bert's turn. All right, that is Bert's turn as you fling the cat and you land next to the drow. And it is at this point the two of you notice something about these drow. Their eyes are glowing with a strange purpley kind of hue. Not for fucking long. Bert's fucking mad, Bert's dude. Bert's fucking pissed. All right, Wisp, it is now your turn. Oh, I'm in the middle of them. Uh, I should probably do uh, a, a big AoE. Uh, uh, Spirit Guardians. All right, you cast Spirit Guardians. Uh, level four. All righty. So that's 15 points of damage. Does that go off again at the beginning? I believe at it does. At the start of their turn. At the start of their turn. All right. What, what form do your Spirit Guardians take again? Uh, right now, it's it's just uh, a bunch of maces flying around. <laughs> yeah, sure. You got it. Uh, I'm going to just kind of move to here. All right, you got it. Does that end your turn? Uh, I'll get my bond up on me, Bertrand, Mule, and and Nick. Right. Everyone put it's in a guys yellow dot. Putting... Yeah, can you guys put yeah. a yellow dot? My thing is really laggy. Unfortunately, I do it myself. All good. All right. Got to get princess too, of course. So. Got it. <laughs> that ends my turn. Alrighty. That brings us around to Nyx. Here, sleep. Ooh, you I'm are asleep. very, very unconscious right now. Also, the chat was incredibly upset when Princess got hit, by the way. Like, the chat was like, Good. I would like to be part Everyone of this initiative round. <laughs> Alrighty. As they should be. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. Oh. Did we figure out when Orange's right. turn this was, by the way? Hmm? No, look, I take it. What okay, was that? Sorry. Oh, I asked when Princess's turn was. Oh, yeah, if that's we right. Add... Uh, she's, think at, she's after you, so. I do love that we could take, like, okay. 300 lightning damage. Okay, yeah, that sucks, I guess. Per yeah. <laughs> All right. Princess gets just one, and nu nuke that person. All right, Princess <laughs> is up. What's Princess doing? Who wants to control Princess? Because she, wants, uh, she wants vengeance, I think. She wants to, oh, she yeah. wants to fight. If Nyx, if Nyx is out of the fight, uh... Yeah, let's have Shay do it, that way. Right. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, Shay, you control Princess. Okay, let me bring up the stats for a giant ape. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that water. Princess the ape is, like, holding Nyx in one hand while punching the drow. <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, King Kong where he's got the lady, but instead it's yeah. Nyx and she's just unconscious. <laughs> Okay, well, I can have a multi-attack, so... Okay. D20 plus 9. Oh my gosh, I always forget how much this is. Yep. Oh! oh you no. rolled a natural oh, one! Whoa. You have a hero point, I swear. No, but That's this is my oh, no, hero wait, wait, point. Wait, this is Princess. Yes, <laughs> Princess. How many hero points does Princess, princess, princess have? None. She's a fucking girl. <laughs> sure? She's oh. a hero. I mean, she's, she's probably gonna do something heroic after this. Right? Wait, how, how many princess points does Princess have? <laughs> uh, as Princess swings, Bertrand, you are knock prone. As I'm already oh. in the water. <laughs> yeah, but now you're like prone, so half your I'm like... movement to get up. Now. <laughs> now he's just floating in the water. Yeah, you're. You like. Yeah, you're she like... feels extra bad about it, I'm sure, and she's gonna attempt again, this that time hits. with the 24. <laughs> okay, and... Okay. Big monkey damage. Monkey. Monkey. And... 
15. All right. <laughs> she raises up her giant monkey fist and lets out her monkey rage as she smashes down onto this drow. They kind of nimbly dodge a little bit, kind of out of the way, but they're still clipped and take some damage. Man, I had two ones in my rolls. Maybe somebody else should have taken control of Princess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that ends Princess's turn. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. Do keep in All mind right, you are a currently in difficult terrain. So your movement is That's halved. what I figured, yeah. So in that case, he's going to dash. You got to make sure to move to through your least... token, not not ahead of you. It has to be on your token. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yep, uh, let me just check his movement again. So that'll be back. If I dash, that'll be just 30 again. Uh, then he'll move right here. All righty. <gasps> How dare they lend a, ha a hand on Princess? He's just gonna like just start trudging through while he keeps like. <laughs> he's not even gonna. Okay, he's not even gonna like just blast through the presentation again. He's just gonna like trudge through. When I get my hands on you! And that's the end of his turn. That's the end of your turn. You can move one tile down. You actually moved one oh, tile less than you intended. It. So go ahead and move one tile down. No, no, no. To the left. Oh, to the left. Got it. Yes. Just, just south. No. Sorry. No, no, no. South, west. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna move. Okay, like this. there we go. All right, perfect. No, right, right there. No, stop. <laughs> Everyone, stop touching <laughs> things. There you go. That's where you are now. Stay there. I will okay. staple you to that that fucking forbidden hot dog. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. There we go. There all we right, go. That ends. That is That's... Lionel. It is now your turn. I had to move you back, Wieners. Mm -hmm. Wieners. Mm, get the concentrations. Uh, am I able to shoot the guy over here? Uh, you do have a giant gorilla between you and it, so I'm going to say I, probably not. Am I able to see him? He's on a ledge, so he's higher, so that means he is blocked by the tall gorilla, unfortunately. This is not a uh, between-the-leg yeah. situation, unfortunately. Gotcha. Okay, I'm just going to have to get closer then. Start moving 10 feet. Okay. So I'm going to use my action to use uh, Benign Transposition to teleport myself. Okay. I can teleport up to 30 feet. So, boop, boop, boop. Bam. Okay, you got it. And I'm gonna use, oh, this is gonna be dumb, but here I go. I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast where are you? Missed a step. Oof. Ooh. Double teleport. All right, double teleport. Double teleport. I'm gonna teleport myself here. And thanks to that, because I used a, a conjuration my, uh, spell, I got my benighted position back so I can use it again. But All right. later. Later. It's a, it's That's a special tool that will help us for later. <laughs> Ooh. All that right. is all I can do right now. Then it's your turn. That brings us to the Drow's turn. Can they make some saving throws, please? Yeah, they're going to have to make some saving I'll start with the one on the left first. Is Wisdom? I believe uh, so. You need to ask if they can fail some saving throws. Uh, the, the magic number is 13. Uh, that's going to be a 17 on the first one. So mm -hmm. half of 15. Uh, the other one got a 23. Fuck. Same situation. These are some some fucking warriors right now. Like these are not like you remember mm -hmm. fighting Drow before. They're nothing compared to these guys. These guys are like armed and ready. Mm -hmm. They take half damage. Yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, it was fifteen, if you remember. Oh right, right, right. Also, I am destroying my monster right now. Be more careful. Uh, uh, half are you 15, able to see the aura seven. around me as well? I do, yeah, I do see it. That that is difficult terrain for them. Is it? Okay, good to know. Seven. I've gone through. I've already gone through one monster manual thanks to Goblin. Destroyed <laughs> it, but all oh right. God. As the maces swirl, the two drow seem to be like, kind of definitely dodge and kind of move out of the way. Uh, yeah, these guys are really strong. Uh, the first one on the left. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. 
Mm. Minecraft noises. Let's yes. see here. Let's see what they can do. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look something up real fast. Give me two seconds here. Speak amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, thanks. <laughs> so okay. about that Final Fantasy spoiler, 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 spoiler. So we all agree that the guy on the right has to die, right? Like the most painful way possible. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> We know they we know they use the horn, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Gotcha. Okay. If hmm. Hmm. sorry, one second, I'm just reading my options here. No worries. I'm trying to think of what to say right now. So how many people heard the horn blare? I'm going yeah. to assume this group last time. and La this group and this group. Well last time I, I draw assume a lot. Last time I draw was do did that thing, he was a V was a doozy. Uh the drow Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 This, this drow here is gonna aim towards you, Lionel, seeing you teleport. Uh, -oh. uh I don't know. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen to hit? That would normally hit me, but I'm gonna use shield. The belt shatters across the shield. This drow is going to cast darkness. No. The darkness. I'm I'm Which having me. flashbacks now. This is this is the combo that that killed our party. Oh. Oh. They just cast darkness on themselves and just destroy you. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no. We <laughs> have the PTSD. Oh, no. It's gonna get everybody in here. Why did you tell me this? Why did you tell me this? Now I'm concerned. Oh, it's it's a lethal combo. Uh, can they see in darkness? Yeah, they sure fucking can. Do you know that? I don't know. It's out of game, I can tell you. 100%. They can. Ooh. Ooh. Darkness fills the space. And unless anybody has advanced vision. I think a regular dark vision doesn't count. Yeah, it's Hey, Bertrand. Yeah. You've got some magical goggles that they count. I thought, I thought uh, it ignored night vi or dark vision. Am I wrong? That's what I'm asking. Is, it's your is item. Not, this is not dark vision. This is like I hate to pull the, the SpongeBob. I mean, this is advanced yeah, darkness. Yeah, yeah. No, no, for sure. That's what I thought. I thought Double dark sight. vision didn't work. Yeah. I was just wondering if the magical item had special things to it, but probably not. I don't think so. I will look at it just in case. All right. Unfortunately, this loud, this large, inky darkness fills up the space, and that ends the drow's turn. None of you can see them at this point. That, God, brings, I, I us, uh -oh. that brings us to Bertrand. It is now your turn as you're kind of floating, and now you can't see anything, and it's wet, and everything's bad. Uh, Bertrand is going to stand up for half of half of his movement. <laughs> Good job um, on that counter spell, Thaddeus. He's going right. to try and move towards land. <clears throat> okay. And swing blindly to his left. You got it. Go for it. Sorry, to his, yeah, to his right. It's disadvantage, right? Yep, disadvantage. Sorry, swing I was just saying you're getting your prone marker off there. 17 or 17. All right, you swing wildly. No purchase on anything. Swing again. 25. You swing wildly. No purchase. Fuck. All right. That's Bert's turn. All righty. That brings us to Wisp. It is now your turn. Uh, I'm going to cast Dispel Magic. Okay. Yeah, yeah that do be making sense. Uh, on the darkness, is it is the only thing I can see? Yep. The darkness. No more Don't trauma. Watch. Not this time, he said. <laughs> you see that the, Not the again. drow that casted the darkness bell has moved. That's not oh, a He's currently no. reloading his crossbow. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take the attack of, attack of opportunity to step okay. here. They will take it with their short sword. Oh, natural twenty. This always oh. happens. I'm so sorry. One sec. Grab. Oh fuck! Oh no! What? Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh no! Well, first of all, you take ten points of piercing damage. Okay. Plus. Uh, 15 points of poison damage as you kind of turn to run this drow just like snaps towards you and just drives the short sword into your back and you kind of yank out of it and keep running L uh, do you have concentration check. check? yeah concentration check DC 10 uh, I'm a warcaster so advantage you're good you're fine Ow. Trying to figure out if I can position it in a way that I can get both of them in this. Does that count for both or not the one on the right? Uh, no, the one on the right is not in there. I don't think it's possible for me to get both of them. Did the spirit guardians slow it down at all? They, they do have um, difficult, uh, terrain. difficult terrain, but he could have made it to there. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to focus on this one, so I'm going to just run up to this one. Okay, you got it. You run up to him. Oh, yeah. Where did I start real quick? I was here, so 5, 10, 15. Yeah, I'll stay here. Okay, you got it. Uh, I'll bonus to action. I cannot cast a spell, actually, never mind. I have already spent a spell for dispel, spell magic, so I am done. All right, that brings us around to Nyx. <laughs> <laughs> You're still sleeping. Nickel nap time. Hope you have fun, Shay. Um, Welcome to D and D. <laughs> get him. Uh, it is now Princess's turn, though, so Princess is gonna absolutely wail on this guy. Twenty-two. Uh, actually, hold on. Give me two seconds. So you check the okay. Uh, yeah. Nope. That hits. Just okay. splats him like a whack-a-mole. Fifteen. 15. Points. <laughs> My math's pretty easy here. Big monkey fist comes out and bashes the the drow. Don't mess with our mule, monk. Monk. As monk. As mule princess brings down the second fist, the drow kind of shifts their sword and parries the blow away, and it Use does the not D4. make contact. She does have a D four. You you need it's to call that before you roll though. When you do rolls yeah, like it, that, you it have wouldn't to call have mattered. It. This yeah, is a reaction, forgot. so yeah. yeah. No, I forgot. Princess had it. I don't want to a... be a no fun allowed, but you have to call <sighs> yeah, yeah. when you roll, not not whether or not you hit. So it, it's that's before you rules, it's yeah. before you find out the result. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think so if you rolled like a fifteen, you could be like, I want to use it. Yeah, I don't exactly. think it would have made any difference anyways. No, it yeah. wouldn't. But in the future, yeah. you can't roll that after the roll has resolved, especially because I use the reaction in response mm -hmm. to the roll hitting or not. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't Alrighty. even know that was a reaction. I just thought I missed. <laughs> nope. It was a reaction. They used a reaction skill. Um. Alrighty. That ends Princess's turn. Uh, that brings us to Thaddeus. It is now your turn. All right. And he is going to trudge uh, 15 feet through here. Both of them are going to be in sight. It's like, you need to pay for your crimes. And he's going to like twin a fireball at, at both of them. Okay. This guy first, and then the second. All right. All right. We'll do the first one on the left and the second one on the right. 13. 13 misses, absolutely misses. The In the same swing not, that's used to parry, they on. slice the firebolt in half. Hold on, not yet. I'm going to use my new meta magic, Seeking Spell. I can spend two sorcery points to reroll the d20. All right, you got it. Go for it. All right, here we go. Much better. 23. As he strikes the firebolt in half, the two sides come together behind him, flip around, and strike him in the back. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, <laughs> you're not getting away with that. Nine. Points. You got it. All right. All right. And whatever happens on the second one, it happens. Yeah. 
seven. Uh, it's a 14. Uh, yep. So that misses entirely. Yep. Yeah. It just like very, like it, it careens into the wall and just sizzles out. Ha! I got one of them. And that's the end of, that's the end of his turn since he already moved. Okay. Uh, Lionel. Yes. Start the turn order. You hear something. What's your passive perception? No. Uh, not high enough. I can tell you that much. Uh, what perception. is it though? 11. 11? Yeah, you hear some noises. Hmm. Alrighty. It is your turn, mm. Lionel. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep the monkey up so I cannot use another concentration spell. Uh, I will, however... I'm just gonna use a, a second level magic missile. You got it. On which one? Or are you gonna split it? Uh, this guy over here. You got it. Oh, focus fire. It's gonna be four dots for that dude. I need that monkey free. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There we are. One, two, three, four. Six. Seven, uh, nine. Yep. Thirteen, Thirteen points of damage. That is exactly his health. How do you want to kill him? Nice. I'm just going to blow its brains out. Just every single dot. Dead. They More swap coming. into the water. And I could hear it like, coming from down here, right? Down the... Uh, Sorry, just... Because your passive perception is so shit, I'm not going to tell you. Roger, roger. Because <laughs> I was going to gonna tell you, and then you said 11, I went, not going to tell you anymore. No worries. I'm just going to assume, since they seem to be guarding the entrance. Uh, I will move, however. Yep. I can, on I can only assume since it's Lionel, it's another toilet demon. No, <gasps> toilet. <laughs> That's gonna Here. be my turn. All right. Funnel, funnel. All right. That brings us to the drow's turn. Uh, the drow in front of you uh, uh, needs to make throw. a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's an 18, so that's a success, I believe. Yep. They take half, though. 14, so 7? Uh, plus 3. Plus 3? Oh, yeah, plus 3. So, 70. As he gets buffeted with, uh, the maces, he is going to risk an opportunity attack. Alright. It's, uh, it's another Inflict Wounds, but I'm not upcasting at this time. I'm... Okay. Let's see what I can do. Nope. Ooh, ooh. Eight misses. As you reach out, they kind of, like, kick you in the side of the head, like, with a spinning kick, and you're like, oh, oh my god. And he kind of whips around and then points his crossbow towards you and just <laughs> fires. Oh my god, he's got that shmovement. Uh, 21 to hit. Yes. That is, I need a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, can I, uh, can I teleport to you, Wisp? You can, but I'll still have to make the constitution saving throw, but you'll take the damage, I okay. believe, is how we I were ruling it. Uh, you take minimum damage, you take 5 points of damage, and I need a con, uh, a con save first. That is a failure. Uh, I'll add only... the d4. Yep, yeah, you can go ahead and add the d4. You got this. Uh. <laughs> oh. No. Nyx, or not Nyx, Nyx is already unconscious, but Wisp. Be unconscious, as man. As you're we shot, know. the poison seeps into you, and you fall unconscious as well. Oh, I, no. I wake up in a field, and Nyx is there, and we're just having a grand old time. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're having a fun time in our field of dreams right now, okay? Leave us alone. <laughs> do you want to take control of Princess next time? Maybe he'll hit better with her than I do. <laughs> one step into the tunnel, and then you see him kind of stop, and then kind of turn around and make his way over to this corner instead. Oh, he's making room. As it seems like he's making room for something. 
Spirit Guardians drops. Yeah, Spirit Guardians is gone, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. That's so unfortunate. It is what it Drow is. Drow Poison does not fuck around. It's very scary. Mm -hmm. uh, that ends the Drow's turn. Bertrand, it is now your turn. All right. Uh, Bert is going to move one, two, three, so 15 feet to there. Okay. And he is going to swing his damnedest at this creature with a two-handed strike. You got it. Oh, I don't have disadvantage anymore. Uh, so just 22. Uh, 22 hits. Okay, for 14 slashing. 14 slashing? Yeah, that's a sizable cleave. As you cleave into the chest of this drow, he kind of staggers back, kind of gripping his own sword. Uh, second swing. Uh, uh 19 hit. Oh, I'm at d4. At the d4, okay. Soft 20. He is going to parry, and sure enough, ting, your sword does not find purchase as he parries your blow. Okay. Uh, that is Bert's turn. All right. You begin to hear galloping. Galloping? galloping. <laughs> and Lionel and Thaddeus, you begin to hear splashing. Oh, dear. Oh, no. As blitzing around the corner. What's the movement? I need to grab a card for this, actually. Give me a second. I don't want to bounce between the books. CR, you go. Sorry, I should have been a bit more prepared for this, but they kind of blew the horn. Around the corner, friendly clowns giving out no, no candy such thing. and That's an balloons. Oxymoron. There's no such thing as friendly clowns. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, okay. That's going to be in this one. Hold on. Oh, boy, this is about to go from great to, to better. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a third of the party's asleep. Yeah, that's nothing wrong right now. And it's not like our wizard's gonna get hit. And Well, actually, you said you won't drop the concentration on, on our mules, so... Uh, well, yeah, if they're I'll unconscious, they still will. Yeah, I'll drop okay. the concentration if I fucking die. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so we don't want that. <laughs> Sorry, give me a half a second here. I'm looking for something. Thank you for your patience. Mm-hmm. I just imagine Nyx, uh, as, as like, during you in Dreamland, you're like, Drow Poison, first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, How this is my second time, time here, how you doing? It was, like, what, an hour? Or, or a full rest? Um, I, I, I can tell you, you would remember, you can wake him up with a slap. Yeah, that's uh, what I mentioned, you you, you wake up if you get an hit by any damage. to get you up, so it takes her full action to do that, unfortunately. Gotcha. Second, sorry, I'm trying to find Princess slapped him back away. <laughs> Princess is Angie. She got shot. She's not having a good day. Angie, can you, can you mage hand? There we go. The slap. I mean, technically, I cannot attack with the slap. With the magic. With the it's an action hand, to save them awake. It's not like you actually have to hit them. Yeah, and I double checked the poison lasts for an hour. Uh, and it's a DC 13 constitution saving throw that we have to get, you know. Damn, if I'd rolled a yeah. two. Honestly, yeah. I was like, when you rolled that one, I was like, oh, you know that oof size maximum meme? That was. Yeah. Me. I was like, oh, shit. One second, I gotta write down some help. Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew it was somewhere around that range. I wasn't sure if it was 14 or 12. If anybody else has to make a constitution saving throw, Thaddeus, you might have to use your advantage. The good news, well, there's good Possibly. news and bad news for what's about to happen. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Blitzing around. What's the movement? Okay, thank God. And it's half, so. It'll, it'll dash, though. It's been dashing this whole time. Right there. Blitzing around the corner comes a massive troll. A it's, troll, you say. Its eyes are also pink like the drows, and it boom, 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 comes galloping out. Bertrand's. But why? Bursting around the corner where the drow made room, another troll comes out, kind what? of creaking through the small open space and looks down towards you. Uh, and it is going to make three attacks against you, Bertrand. 
What, what, what's the good news? Uh, the good news is <laughs> the one to the north, that's its turn. So it did not catch up to you guys <laughs> oh, up good. there. The one to the south, though, does catch up. So. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that's good news. Yep. Uh, first attack is going to be a 17 to hit. That will miss. As it brings down its mouth to bite into you, you bring up your shield and you hear a wrenching noise as the teeth just kind of snap down. It releases its mouth and then it does two swings with its long tall, uh, long nails and claws. Uh, the first one is going to be a uh, 24 to hit. That will definitely hit. Okay. You take uh, 13 points of slashing damage. 13. Okay. Second swing. Uh, not as good. That is going to be a 15 to hit. That will miss. Uh, right. Also, Bert, Bert does not currently have a shield up, so he's just... He's oh, going to okay. Answer. Yeah. It's for flavor. I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, you turn around, he eats the shield. Uh, but the first slash gets you across the clavicle of the neck, and the second slash, you bring up your sword. It almost knocks the sword out of your hand. That mm. ends the troll's turn. Wisp, it is now your turn, and you are unconscious. Beep, 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 beep. Roll to snort. I'm honk chewing. Alrighty, that brings us to Nyx, who is also. But now it's Princess's turn, how and you know. Does, how much movement does Monkey have? Monkey has Quite a bit. 40 feet of movement. Alright, Monkey. That's perfect. It has uh, exactly reach. Needs. Wait. Can, can Monkey Ooh. throw the dead drow at it first before she charges it? Does oh. it have a throw I think attack? That... I it does, it has punch. a ranged attack. You know what? Fuck it, you sure. pick up a rock. <laughs> well, it, if you do that, I believe that's the... Uh, you don't get two of those. You only get one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're better off just punch. Okay, the punch yeah, is okay, okay. Damage. Charge in, then, yeah. yeah. Punch, punch the troll. Punch, punch the troll. Punch the troll. Punch the attack. troll. Why not? You're going to pay the For troll flavor, troll. though, can she use the dead drow as a, <laughs> as a club? <laughs> sure, <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it. It's, it's a club. Uh... <laughs> Thaddeus and and poor uh, Lionel, as the splash. monkey jumps, it's just like, you can see the bottom of the swamp for a brief moment, you're like, oh no, and then just swamp water rushes over you and drenches the both of you. <laughs> Go ahead and two swings into this troll. Uh, 14 for the first, should I, Plus. I'll do the bond, just in case. Uh, 17. 17 hits. Hey! Okay. Here, I'll do the second attack. Yeah, yeah, you do the second attack, because it's go. only fair that way. Uh, oh my goodness. Holy oh. bitch. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, two nines and an eight for 32 <laughs> points of damage as, as Monkey Princess goes for a fucking uppercut and just clocks this thing in the jaw. Okay, Wisp, you get the second attack. 23. 23 hits. I like this unconscious dynamic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 21 what points of damage. The brain space. Not bad. As this thing clubs into the troll, it kind of lets off a screech, it kind of grabs the hand, and they are locked in a grand melee. Go, oh, Princess! That ends you Princess's got this. turn. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. He's just gonna see the this like <laughs> this set of a fucking Street Fighter Six going on. Is like, okay, well, I'll leave you to it. He's gonna just trudge through the mud. Uh, question. Yes. Uh, I know this Again, is like measure, measure like, from your terrain. token. That not don't measure around right. your token. Always measure from your token. Right. So that would only bring me to here, right? That would bring you if to I there, and that would be your full movement. Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. Technically, Wisp is on the ground, so I can see, like. Yeah, he's, control, he's on right? the ground. Can I use a thunder roll here and not hit Wisp? Theoretically. I'm gonna say no because it, it arcs against the ground, so you would hit Wisp on the ground. Dab beans. Just do it. It'd be right. funny. We're, doing, we're doing damage. Wake him up. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Just do it. Would we? Would damage? No, that's too much damage for what I'm gonna do. Uh, hold on. That's Let me much. see. Uh, there is something I can do, I think. Let me just measure this out real quick. Uh, Again, if there's can I see there what's over here? You cannot, it is blocked by a fucking troll. <laughs> it's also like a curve, mm. so you can't see. What I was thinking is like doing a fireball behind them, but even then that would like still hit Bertrand. Do it. 
Don't do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Could I theoretically see behind the troll's legs? Could probably do it like right here? there, but that's about you, it. Right there, that's about it. Yeah. Come on, I didn't hear no one. bell. You didn't hear say, no bell. I'm gonna say this too because of that's where you're gonna be firing it. It's only gonna catch Bertrand and the troll, uh, and it will also catch Wisp on the ground. And this guy here is gonna be uh, protected by full cover because well, it goes yeah. around oh, corners. Uh, Firebolt goes around. Uh, oh no, you're right. It does go around corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would hit him too. I Feel mean, free to like... hit me. Do it. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Wouldn't perfectly that double okay damage, with though? this. Wouldn't that double damage though? Wouldn't No, no, yeah. no. No, no, I'm just, oh, just going to auto-fail. I'm not, I'm not uh, critically failing, I'm just auto-failing. Let me see. Uh, I think it's melee damage yeah. that uh, crit fails, or yes. crit damages, yeah. I think you're right, yeah. Hold yeah. on. You, when you're, you're unconscious... You're incapacitated, you drop yeah. whatever you're holding, you f you automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Yeah, attack, and that's the dexterity. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker, uh, the, if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. So yes, you wouldn't take double damage, but you're going to automatically fail. So. Uh, hmm. Do you have to wake them up? Do it. Trust me. Trust me. I've got a plan. Well, that would cost an action, though. Just do it. Yeah. Just you do want, it? You want them to wake up? Just do it. There is a plan. Are you sure? I am 100% sure. Even at fourth level? Yes. I, I will. What? I will be fine. Let's go. What? No, no, don't let him cook. Do, do not let him cook. He's, he's let gonna him cook. do it. He's gonna do it. All right. Fourth do level it. fireball. Oh. Okay, princess is gonna use her reaction to take the damage. Twenty-seven. Wait, okay, that was that the was pathetic. Regardless. Doing? You don't get to control princess. <laughs> oh, I thought we were controlling. No, princess. you get to roll her attacks. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. The damage is pathetic, so you only get princess twenty-seven. Like... 5D chest. <laughs> princess fighting a fucking troll. She doesn't have time to worry about your ass. <laughs> Alrighty, let's roll. Alright. Uh, automatic fail from you, Wisp. 27. Uh, you take 27. Yeah. yeah. The good news is, is I believe you're awake now. Ow. Yeah, you, you, you're you waking you up a little soon. Yeah. You are awake. You are fucking wide awake. Uh, Man, what an alarm clock. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Oh god, the draw the draw rolled a natural twenty. He's taking no damage anyway. Um, uh, roll, which is a bit more important. Uh, what's the dex save on you? That is going to be a nine. So the troll fails. Hey, he's just going to like look at Wes, look at Bertrand. He's going to like stare, like like lock eyes of Bertrand. Does he? Does he nod? Slow thumbs up. Yeah. It'll give you, like, a, a very, like, stern, like, do it. All right. All right. As... Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. He's going to, as... like, do the fireball and it explodes. The fireball explodes and the troll lets out a shriek as it is hit by the fire damage. It pocks and bites at its flesh. Bertrand, you get, you know, your eyebrows a bit singed off. Uh, and Wisp, you <laughs> Oh, my gotten... God, I'm an idiot. I should have had advantage on that poison saving throw because of my... Dwarf belt. Oh I shit! Thought. Good job. Well, but I'll never but 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 the 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 uh, so belt should was Nyx, unbuckled. Nyx, you have advantage as well. What? What? No, I don't. Your your cloak. Oh, does my cloak give me advantage? It does. What? <laughs> Come on, guys! <laughs> guys, we spent so much money in this magical I items. I knew that it helped me walk on walls. I. Amazing. <laughs> I would have succeeded then if that was the case. Oh no. Let this be a, a lesson to hey, everyone. New I'm, magic not, items I'm not gonna run I, I, I'm gonna be the best oh, yeah, DM yeah, I can yeah, be, yeah, but yeah. I can't Let's run your guys' characters for yeah, you. I'm very yeah. sorry. Let this be a lesson, well, chat. Keep track of what you can do. Yeah, oh my god, I have resistance to poison damage. You're right, it's like the first thing it says. Dang it. This really is a work in progress, huh? All right. Uh -huh. Look, we live up to our name, okay? We just that have is. To... Does, that your your Does that end your that turn? That ends my turn. That's all I can do, yeah. All right. Well, Wisp, you're awake, but you are prone because you went unconscious. Oh. Uh, but top of the turn, or Lionel, it is now your turn. Awesome. I'm going to use my action to use my mage hand to wake Nyx the fuck up. Okay. You you reach over to your mage hand with your action just... <laughs> <laughs> and Nyx, you... Look up, Lieutenant. Oh, what a beautiful dream. Yeah! 
<laughs> See them all have a troll in front of you. However, uh, you both are still poisoned as well, so keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. You're you're conscious, but you are still poisoned. <gasps> okay. At least that's something. And I'm just gonna use my bonus action to. <laughs> another, uh, another teleport. You got it. Another misses step. I'm just gonna place myself far away from these fuckers. Mark. Question. Yep. When we leveled up, I gained an extra fifth level spell slot. Do I have that spell, or do I still not have it? What? When when we when I was level nine, um, I had one fifth level spell slot. Now I'm level ten. I have two. Did I gain that spell upon leveling up? You don't gain like, do spells. You're, you're a prep caster, so you prepare yeah, your yeah. spells do, every day. Spell slots. Spell slots, that's what I mean. Yeah, you have it. If you're level 10, so I, you have your spell okay, slots, so I, yeah. I gained that spell slot. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure I had a fifth level spell slot. You you gained, yeah, yeah you, your spell slots increase when you level up, so. Yeah, I was just, because we didn't have a long rest, so I wasn't sure if I gained that spell slot. Yeah, you guys basically, when you guys okay. were walking through the tunnel, you took a long rest. Is how we kind of like I, I I mentioned how we were gonna do it like that time you were in the tunnel you guys took a long rest which is how you leveled up so yeah. alrighty is that in your turn Thaddeus oh that's Lionel Lionel's turn sorry Lionel is that in your turn yep all right no, it, does. it is now the Drow's turn uh, the Drow is going to provoke an attack of opportunity from you Bertrand all right as he is gonna move uh does Sentinel stop I imagine I have to hit. You have to hit him, yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Birch is going to swing. 21 to hit. 21. Just Do hits, it. and he does go for the parry, but it makes his AC 21, which means okay. your Sentinel procs, and he does not move. Hey! I think he was, he was right here, right? Where was he? It was one more back, yeah. Yeah, right there. All right, go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, 13 to hit. 13, or 13 damage. damage. Not bad. Uh, he is still going to take his shot, though. Uh, he's going to aim at you, Thaddeus. Oh. That is going to be a soft 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. I need a constitution saving throw from you, please. All right. Here we go. Do you have some advantage? Wow! Eight. You do have advantage. You have some funny tides. Oh, perfect. Hooray! Well, you hold on, hold really on. Bad. You have to call it. Much? Hold on, hold on. Oh uh, yeah, you do. Have you to have call to call it. it beforehand. You can't just get it automatically after we agreed on this. So okay, that's true. In that yeah. case, he gets the funny natural one. You get the funny natural one. Do you have? Also... Do you have? A, do you have hero points? Do you have hero point? Here, I do. Okay, oh, I'm going to ask you to re-roll again because that second roll shouldn't mm -hmm. have happened. So. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's ten. Uh... Ten? Yeah, that's that's stops you going not, unconscious. The yeah, good it's news, not more than five, though. you are not unconscious. However, you do take ten points of piercing damage, and you are now poisoned. Oh, you son of a! Ooh. And he is going to spend his bonus action reloading. That Wait a minute, us... hold on. Uh, important question. Apparently, I had ten temporary hit points. Of, like last time, I was like. Would that carry over when I, like... No, like, because we had a over? long rest. No, you guys yeah. had a long okay. rest, so... Okay, yeah. so just 10 damage. All right. 10 damage to you. Are you concentrating on anything or no? Nope. Okay, cool. Alrighty, that ends the drow's turn. That brings us to Bertrand. It is now your turn. Alright, Bertrand is... There's a scary troll, but he needs to kill this fucking thing that hurt Princess, so... Uh, so he's gonna swing <laughs> best of his ability, the best of his ability at the drow. Hold on, bless. Bless, yeah, go for it. Fuck, 17. 17 misses. Oops. He swings and parries once again. This guy is martially quite strong. And second swing. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 just hits. It meets his AC. Oh, okay. Uh, 11 slashing. 11 slashing damage. As you cleave into him, he's still standing. All right. Uh, that is... Uh, Bert is going to shout out uh, a, a word of encouragement as he lifts his symbol of ill matter in the air to second wind to heal both him and uh, Wisp. And the troll, oh, right? Baby. No. <laughs> uh, believe it or not. Not the troll. All right. uh, he's going to heal. Wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, uh, 17. Nice, 17. You Wisp, you get healed for 17 as well. 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're literally on the ground, woke up on fire, feel slightly better now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, The wind put out Ooh, the fire. Refreshing. Alrighty, Bertrand, does that end your turn? That is the end of Bertrand. All right, Bertrand. it is now the troll's turn. Nyx, as you wake up, you kind of lean over the monkey and you see a troll currently fighting. And where its like arm was kind of broken, it kind of snaps and heals back into place. That's not fun. Uh, yeah. Mm, juicy, juicy, like delicious butter. targets, though. Mm. I'm gonna flip a coin. One, one to two is Monkey, three to four is Nyx, five to six is Thaddeus. Six. It's gonna be Thaddeus. Thaddeus, as you kind of yank the bolt, you suddenly feel a shadow over you as you turn up and you see a giant troll, and it's just gonna lay into you. Huh? Oh! Bite attack, that's gonna be a 15 to hit. Meets a beats. Oh shit, okay. Uh, nine points of piercing damage as it lunges down and bites your shoulder and shakes you like a dog toy. It kind of throws you to the ground and is going to go for a claw attack. Natural one. Hey! hey. Roll severity. So it kills itself. Yeah, it absolutely does. It rolled a three, so it just misses. It strikes and kind of cleaves some of the mud, but uh, leaves kind of like a perfect gouge in the ground, but unfortunately does not hit you. Third attack. Uh, that is going to be another 15. That needs to be. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. That's going to be 14 points of slashing damage to your chest. Oh, what did I ever do to you? The troll in front of you, Bertrand, kind of like flails until the fire goes out and is just going to just raw, just go into you. It's very right. angry. First swing with the bite is going to be a 23 to hit. That will hit. Uh, we- 10 points of piercing damage as it bites down into your shoulder. All right. Second swing, uh, 19. Uh, that will hit. Damn it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. Third swing. Uh, definitely going to hit. Uh, 24. Uh, yep. That's it. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. for 12 points Boy. of slashing damage. All right. Uh, and that ends the troll's turn. Wisp, it is now your turn, as you're still lying on the ground, yeah. just kind of like... I'm just laying down, I look to my side, see my shield on one side, there's sword on the other, I'm like, oh gosh. Looking around, see everyone's like kind of beaten up a little bit, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try and use divine intervention, like look down to my uh, holy symbol and just be like, okay, I, I'd really like just everyone around me to just not be poisoned anymore, and maybe get some healing. That'd be great. All right, go ahead and roll your D100. If it's 10 or below, it works. Oh. The other Oof. end of the... The Team other end. I'm very You're supposed sorry. to roll wieners, not... <laughs> Damn it, Lyra. Could help me out here? No, I can't All right, I'll I, I haven't had up. a high-level cleric, actually, in a party for ever actually it what is divine mm-hmm. intervention just a free action or does it take an action i believe it's my action let me i'll just link it yeah double check it crying is a free action <laughs> as, as, as crying. we did learn yeah you, you take a liberty on that quite often i'm sorry i still have language moaning uh, <laughs> yeah you uh, employing your duty aid requires you to use your action okay okay so you have yeah, your bonus I'll, action I'll and your movement and then I'll use a bonus action uh, to have mass cure wounds or something. I don't have a like. I think mass cure wounds. Really hoping that. Um, as, yeah, you're right. Well, spiritual weapon uh, okay. over here. You got it. Bring back the base. The base. My weapon and shield are still on the floor right now. Because I couldn't pick them up. Alrighty, your mace uh, apparates between Bertrand and the drow. One second, there it is. 
11 Ugh. misses, unfortunately. As the the mace comes to swing, the drow ducks out of the way and hides behind some stone, and it kind of cracks into the stone, but unfortunately finds no purchase on the drow. Uh, I need a minute. This is all you, Bertrand. You're a little delirious still. You're also very poisoned. Up. Alrighty, that ends yeah. Wisp's mm -hmm. turn. Nyx, you're awake, and shit, what happens? I'm very confused. You remember being <laughs> shot, and that's it. And I'm, now I'm on a giant ape, and there's trolls around. It's the weirdest uh, thing is the giant ape is the normal part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the normal part. I look down, and I give it a pat, like, uh, thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> Just, like, screaming and swinging. <laughs> so mad. It's me, it's me, it's me, Ugh. Hmm. Smart decision, dumb decision. What should I do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to... I'll just... I guess I'll just shoot it. <laughs> what are you shooting? Well, the troll. I was just wondering if I could try and jump onto the troll to try and get to the land bass, but that feels like it might be a... not the smartest idea, but I was thinking I could try and... You could certainly try if you want to roll an, <laughs> a an acrobatics. Okay. Would that be my action, or That'd could I use movement. my... But if you if you yeah. fail this, something bad might happen, so that's the risk. You could either make it to the land and be A-OK, -okay, or you roll real bad and something bad happens. It's up to Jump you. Do you have your blessed in the troll's mouth? <laughs> you know what? Oh! There we go! Ooh. Oh! Wow! Wait, I, I, hate, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Poison might give you disadvantage. Oh. Oh, okay, I probably wild. wouldn't. I wouldn't have done it if I knew I was. If I remember that. You know what? I'm gonna let the natural twenty carry over because I think it's fun. And you've been you've been passed okay. out this whole fight. I'm gonna throw you a bone. Okay. Oh, I love bones. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll throw you Very a bone. Very nice. Since we did mess up our uh, funny you did, poison. You did resistance. fuck up your poison shit. So yes, you do. Like I want Mario sound effects. A boing boing boing. Like, the jumping <laughs> sound effect. Yeah, Did just boing, boing, boing. Land right there, I'll say. You okay. land and then you feel a wave of nausea as the poison just kind of roils in you. I'm like, one second. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Disadva disadvantage to hit, though, because you are still poisoned. Do I still have on it as you jump over it? You do have flanking, have... so you have a plus two, but you're still poisoned, so disadvantage. But 24 I... still hits. 26, that hits. 12 nice. and plus 17. Oh my lord, that's 29. Nine. Oh my lord, 29 points of damage. As you kind of, in your mid-jump, you strike across the face of this troll. It kind of reaches up with its hands to kind of like fix its eyes. You land on the ground and then bleh, bleh, <laughs> throw up. It would have been great if, if not for that, but it, the troll looks terrible. It looks like it's on its last legs. Well, you know who goes next? Princess. <laughs> that is uh, true. It is now princess. You want to take the first time. one now? <laughs> no, I can yeah, you've got this. Okay. <laughs> 19 uh, hits. Okay. Princess goes in for the first attack. 24 points of damage. 24 points wow. of damage. One second. Bludgeoning if that matters. All right, 20 points of damage, or 24 points of damage. All right, the troll falls to the ground, dead. Yes, hey. Oh, not Ooh. you, you're alive. No, an X oh. is dead. <laughs> There's an X on me. No. <laughs> Immediately. Good riddance, you little shit. Oh, man, I just came back. Alrighty, Nyx, it is still your turn. Or, sorry, well, Princess. princess is, it's up to you where Princess decides to move now, because she has one more attack, but I don't think she can reach anybody. No. But if she, she moves... Whip off the that's... troll's arm and throw it. We know, <laughs> she just throws the troll the other troll. She just, like, pounds her chest in an intimidating way. 
Actually, oh no, that's an action. I was gonna say she has that throwing ability, but I think that takes yeah. her whole action, unfortunately. So she yeah, can no, move. I, she can if move. If you want her to, do you she want wants, her to move onto the she land? She wants to stay with you guys right now. Okay. I think. You know what? She'll move okay. around. You guys are doing good over there. Uh, she can only move fifteen feet, though I believe, because she. Oh no, she can move twenty. Twenty, because she her, she's an ape, so she's got the forty. So she gets about there. I'll say she kind of begins to climb she's up. She's got big movement. Uh, Thaddeus, it is now your turn. You feel very All right, sick. then, let me just calculate something real quick. Uh, all right, perfect. He's gonna move right there. He's gonna, like, see just, like, this troll get uppercutted into the walls, like, oh, oh, that's a relief. Time, time to take care of the other one. He's gonna move over here, and then he's gonna, like, point at it, and he's like, all right, it's your turn. Fourth level Thunderbolt. Uh, Fourth level Thunderbolt. Bolt. You got it. Dexterity saving All right. Throw. Uh, it's 15. Uh, they actually just got 15, unfortunately. Uh, so, so they, they take half take, of this. They take half, yeah. 36. Also, you have not been rolling for your wild magic surge this entire fight. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah. I am so sorry. It's I love you guys. I'm sorry. Please keep track of your sheets, please. I keep he, to I'm be sorry. fair, he, he was using Firebolt, and that's a cantrip for That is a few true, of but them. he did do Fireball as well, and Fly, hmm. and all that. I think before. that is true. Do you oh, want me to roll two right yeah. now? No, we'll retroactively waive it, but just but, yeah. in the future. Can you do please. this one? I'm yeah, please sorry. do this one, uh, which you did. Yes. 15. Uh, so that's going to be half of 36, which is going to be. 18 points. Give me one second. I have to do math here. So. Uh, okay. Sorry, that was really difficult math. It was such a weird calculation. All right. The thunderbolt snaps from your fingertips and blasts the troll in the stomach. It kind of, like, uses its claws to keep itself, like, you know when you try and shove a cat in a carrier and they, like, use the claws to, like, brace themselves and not go in? It kind of uses its claws yeah. to not be thrown into the tunnel, but you see a sizable sort of scorch mark on its chest as it... Like, let's have this horrible wailing roar. All right, and he's gonna pull, like... He's just gonna, like, gesture over at the second, like, this guy over here is like, If he's still alive, you're next. Alrighty, that ends Thaddeus' turn. Yep, that's all I can do. Alrighty, Lionel, it is now your turn. Yup, okay. Uh, that's dead. That looks, that looks still alive? Good lord. Yeah, the drow's still alive. <laughs> Okay, if things, things seem a little calmer, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna teleport over here with my action. You got it. And I'll have to wait for next turn to do something because that's... Sure. Alright, does that end your turn? Yep, yep. Alrighty, that brings us to the drow's turn. The drow is gonna move one space forward. He's gonna aim a shot at you, Lionel. Come on. Why did I move closer? I'm an idiot. Oof, Jesus. That's gonna be a 25 to hit. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's gonna that's hit. Con save. Uh, does that provoke because of Sentinel? He is not leaving your space, so no. Yeah, when a creature attacks someone that isn't me, that's Jason. The does it specify melee attack? Because I think uh, it does specify melee attack. When a creature makes an attack against a target other than you, oh, and that okay. target and that target does not have the speed, you can make a melee attack against that target. Okay, yeah, go for it. Okay. All right. I still, I still, let me roll the damage, and we'll deal with that first, and we'll get to yeah, you with it, the reaction. It does, it doesn't say it interrupts it, so it does not. No, it absolutely will not. So con save from I mean, Lionel, you are fucking fine. You're a, you're a no poison at all, but you're still gonna take damage. Uh, yep. You're gonna take ten points of piercing damage directly to the chest. You need to make a Ow. Constitution saving throw. What? That was the twenty-two, right? No, the con save was for the poison. And then the concentration on your spell, on your polymorph. Oh no, I'm level you 10, can't baby. Anymore. Oh, you can't. Oh shit, that's right. Yep. What what ability is that? It's focus conjuration. Here you go. Your concentration. Yeah, 10 level spell. while you are concentrating my conjuration. Is spell? polymorph con oh, con con conjuration. Con Sorry, my bad. I got yeah, confused. I was gonna say, <laughs> I don't think polymorph is conjuration, is it? My bad. I got completely wrong. Whoop. 
14. Okay, you're still fine, though. So, you still have concentration. Oof, yeah. I was gonna say, not having to roll concentration checks on any spell as a wizard, I'm like, how does it, how is it that no I NPC expect that, has that? I expect, I expect that to be, I expect that to be level 10 ability. We went completely over my head. Yeah, Sorry, so it's only, it's only on conjuration, but we know that now. We spell. learned. Yep, yep. Then you're fine, so you maintain your spell. And you're not poisoned, but you do take some damage. Uh, and now, yep, yep. Bertrand, your attack goes off. That 23 hits. to hit. Uh, four, 12 slashing. As he points the, the crossbow and shoots at Lionel, you just spin and just chop off both of his arms. And just a eruption of blood comes from both stumps as the drow just slumps to the ground dead and bleeds out. Whew. That's down. Hello? All right, that uh... ends the drow's turn. Bertrand, it is now your turn. All right, Bert is going to swing at the troll. You got it. First two-handed swing. 18, 18 to hit. hits. For eight slashing. Eight Not slashing. amazing. Not amazing, but it's still, it's still a hit as you cut into its arm. And then the follow-up the follow -up swing. 22 to hit. 22 hits. For eight, eight. Good, Good grouping, Bertrand. <laughs> All right, that's Bert's turn. All right, that's Bert's turn. It is now the troll's turn. You watch Bert as the troll begins to heal. Ugh. The slash wounds kind of stitch over themselves. Nyx, as you turn to look towards your companions, you hear bubbling behind you. Hey. No. Oh, bubbles are good. As the troll that you had thought you had slain regenerates and oh, comes fuck. back to consciousness. A princess? And it's going to use half of its movement to get up, and it's going to just unleash on you, Nyx. And it, I'm just going to double check poisons. I don't... I think you just have disadvantage? Yeah, yes, you just have disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We need Princess to rip the thing's head off. Uh, first bite attack is going to be a 21. <sighs> yeah, that is. You take seven points of piercing damage. <sighs> Yeah, Slash okay. attack uh, is going to be a 16 to hit. Uh, misses. Misses, all right. As it sweeps uh -huh. with its claw, you manage to duck out of the way. Third slash. Uh, that is going to be a 19. Uh, that one hits. Oh, uncanny dodge this one, though. Got it. Uh, probably a good thing that you did, because that's going to be 14 points of slashing damage cut down to 7. All right. Alrighty, that ends the troll's turn. That brings us to Wisp. It is now your turn. Uh, I hate to oh. teacher. Did uh, did we turn? Yeah, this turn one over, didn't get a go. The, yeah, the other troll didn't swing. Oh, oh my gosh, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Bertrand. No, that's all right. You're a good sport. Do you have a hero point? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. Okay, I would have given you a hero point for that because that's good. Good courtesy. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Always nineteen remember. on the first bite attack. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, no. And now Bertrand goes down. <laughs> Seven points of piercing damage. Okay. Second swing. Natural 20. Cut. Oh, fuck. Okay. That should have been on the bite. It would have been better on the bite. Oh, I rolled kind of like shit, though. Uh, 15 points of slashing damage on the crit. Yeah. Alright. Uh, slashing, you said. Okay. Yeah, slashing. And third strike. Not a natural 20, uh, but it is going to be a 26 to hit. Ooh, definitely a hit. Uh, and that is going to be a 12 additional points of slashing damage. All right. That ends the troll's turn. Wisp, it is now your turn. Let's move the mace over for a swing. And this is still on a tank from me, so I guess this also has disadvantage. Um... Let me double check, because technically you're using a spell attack, right? Yeah. So yes, it is with disadvantage. Nineteen hits, and I'll 19. carry over the one that does hit, which is going to be the six. So you bop him on the head for six points of damage. And Very I'll nice. uh, use my cantrip as my main action for a sacred flame. DC 14, 6 Radiant. Alright, 6 Radiant. Uh, they rolled just a 16, I'm so sorry. 
But, uh... So, no damage to them with the Radiant Fire as it dodges nimbly out of the way. I'll just kind of chill here. Okay, you kind of trying to throw up a bit. Nyx, it is now oh. your turn. Ooh, good, and I have another uh, enemy. Wow. Uh. I'm going to incite him. Okay. <gasps> 22. 22. I'm going to give you something as a bonus, Nyx. As you incite okay. this troll, you're able to read its movements, and with the way its eyes are, you get the sense that it's been charmed. Huh. Um. Magic folk in the group? Uh, I don't know what to do against charmed creatures, but I think I know why they're attacking us. I, uh, trolls? I would assume they're attacking us because they Doesn't want to kill matter. us. Charmed! <laughs> Um, Give him the dead condition. <laughs> I tried that; it didn't work. Well, no, you only gave him the dying. Order. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna attack with my vicious rapier. You got it. Because it's a magical weapon, so we'll see if it, <laughs> if it, you know. I'm gonna use my. D4. Okay. Does a 15 hit the troll? A 15 ties, so it just hits. Oh. Hey. Let's go. <sighs> Plus your sneak attack. Plus sneak attack. Oh! oh! <laughs> sneak attack! Oh! Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. You stab this thing several times, and as it kind of lulled up and struck at you, you kind of stab it in retaliation, and it <laughs> back into the water. I don't know if this is going to hold this time, but I think I'm going to back up. I'm going to stand next to Princess. Alrighty. And maybe throw up again. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, it is now Princess's turn. Uh, Princess is not intelligent. She's a fucking monkey right now. She's not very smart. Monkey. Uh, Princess is gonna run over to the troll and just starts just like bashing it in the water. Just you know, stay just, dead. Just to stay dead, yeah. Uh, that will end. You know Princess's what? I don't turn. have a problem with that. Thaddeus, it is now your turn. All right. Uh, how's this troll looking? Uh, the troll to the south. Yep. It's starting to look a little rough. Yeah. Looking a little rough. Looking a little rough. Okay. He's gonna use a third level lightning bolt. Okay. All right, and bada bing. Dex save. Uh, terrible. That's oh, a five. That's a failure. He takes the full twenty-seven then. All right, as the full twenty-seven hits the bulk of this troll, it hits in its center and smashes it back, and it falls to the ground dead. Right. Wild magic. There we go. Wild magic surge. Yep. Good call. Good call. Oh, that's right. So shit. Twenty. Uh, Yep. It's Nothing happens. Nope, it's 11. It's All two right. ones, so technically two things should happen. <laughs> Woo the fuck out Ooh. of here. Woo. Wisp, it is now your Woo. turn. You turned double blue. Ooh. Two of them. <laughs> uh, is there any way I could, like, make some kind of check to, like, figure out how to keep these things dead? Like, would I know any of that information? Uh, roll an arcana check, but you do notice that the troll, even though it's lying and it's kind of like static electricity, its wounds are slowly stitching back, and it's like bones are like mm -hmm. popping back into place. Wisp smart. Wisp not Wisp's smart. Gonna... Wisp has no <laughs> idea what the fuck this is. <laughs> just, just keep hitting it, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll run over and, oh, fuck. I, I'll go pick up my sword. I pick up my <laughs> silver short sword. And is, Can you is that a main action, action? It once it stands up? Well, I don't know how how big of an action is picking up my sword. Um, is I'm that a full gonna... action? I'll say it's like a bonus action. I think a bonus action okay, feels yeah. more fair. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll pick up my silver short sword, run over, and just slice at the thing. Maybe you silver works. Go ahead and roll the hit with advantage. 
Uh, uh regular roll, because I'm poisoned. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just regular roll. God, it's like chopping into a tree as you slice into it uh, for three points of damage. <laughs> what did you That's do today? Turn. As up you a dead body. wrench your sword from its body, the wound just immediately starts to stitch up. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. All right, Nyx, it is now your turn. Um, can I roll an Arcana check for my turn too? Yes, you may. Seventeen. Seventeen. You remember childhood stories of fire and acid being particularly strength, like strong against trolls in folklore. Perhaps Guys. this is what it pertains to. Um, fire or acid, anybody? Have you got a fire or acid? Um, did Thaddeus shoot it with fire, though? It did, no, the... but... Oh. It didn't kill we, it. You, we may have to shoot it with fire or acid when it's down. Ah. Um, could I... might be a little hard on the one in the water. Could I toss a torch? I could, I could toss... I have two oil flasks. I could toss an oil flask and light it on... Of the water troll. Yeah, set the water on fire. Do the yes. impossible. Oil burns on water, excuse me. I know! I'm saying, <laughs> do the impossible. Set the water on fire, Shade. D&D &D lets you follow your dreams. It does. If I can start a bonfire in a thunderstorm, I can start a fire on the set water. Set fire to the room. Watch me. I mean, I watch Spongebob. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Alright, do you pour yeah. oil out and set it alight? I'll pour one of my oil flasks out. All right, you pour one out and you throw your torch into it. And as you do, the oil ignites and the troll lets out a shrieking howl in the water as it burns and seems to remain dead. I think it worked. That ends Princess Nix's is... turn. Princess, Princess is still punching it. Yeah, Princess just keeps punching it, even <laughs> though it's dead, like actually dead for Princess. sure. Uh, that is, bed. it is now your turn. All right then, huh? Well, what do we need fire for? He look, he like goes over to like, like yells over to Nyx. Burn the body. Burn the body? All right, if you say so. He's gonna move over and he's just gonna point like not point blank. He's just gonna fireball the dead, the dead uh, right. troll corpse. You have advantage. All right. Sixteen, so with advantage, that would be nineteen. Nineteen, go and roll damage. All right, here we go. Six. The firebolt seems incredibly efficient as it begins to pock and just crisp up the skin of the troll. And you guys all take a breath, hold your breath, Ooh. and nothing happens. Thunderbird. <laughs> you know, I don't really see why that was necessary. They seem dead enough already. Uh, did you not see the one come back alive and attack well, us again? Well, I was too busy trying to kill the one that was still alive, so unfortunately, no. Although, that being said, he's going to firebolt it again. I'm going to sit down over here. Oh, I feel kind of... I'm going to go huddle up next to the cat who's also feeling sick. That was two encounters, by the way, so you can note that down as two. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, one. nice. I wouldn't mind a little bit of a rest. I yes, just, um, like, land. Yes, after the adrenaline rush, I'm starting to feel a bit ill as well. I have to a short rest. Uh, is it safe to try to spend time, like an hour here? Uh, I don't... We'll make it safe. <laughs> I don't really think we have a lot of options to choose from unless you want to somehow get back to the... to the statue, but... I will stand watch and make sure we are safe. I think you need to rest too, Bertrand. You took a lot of hits. Oh, so, um, when Princess turns back, are one of you guys okay with healing her? She took some I, damage. I can get it. She will be resting with a... Bert's gonna use the water to clean off the blood from the sword and what he can from the armor. 
Yeah, it's murky. It makes it almost like dirtier than usual. I assume you want to de polymorph princess so she can actually heal during the one hour. Yep. Yeah, she's got a bolt oh, yeah. right in her chest. Like, it's right, Ooh. like, right, you know, in the chest, yeah. clavicle, neck area. Does she get hit Ooh. dice? <laughs> um, not really. Um, Listen, roll... I, I'm She's got 2d8, so you, you can do it. You can roll 2d8 to heal her. I'll say. I feel like you guys love her enough. I'm sure chat would be upset if I, I said no to healing <laughs> princess. I think there would be riots in the street, wouldn't there, chat? That would come for your head. The bird's gonna break the part of the bolt so that it's easier to get the actual bolt head out. Oh, you want to roll the 2d8 then, Bertrand? Uh, what? I'll do it. Okay, you do it. <laughs> oh, is that, is that a me? Okay. 2d8. Four. Okay, she chills for four. She now has five HP. I will. Um, when when the short rest finishes and I see they're still looking kind of hurt, I'm gonna probably cast a healing word for them. I'm going to use her can recovery and cover some plus slots. As uh, Bert promised, he's during the short rest. He's going to give her extra good brushes. Yeah, you do. And he'll use uh, water from his canteen to clean up the, like, mats of fur and everything from the swamp. I'm going to say this as well. If she is with, if she's transformed, she can't use the, the horseshoes because they're specifically horseshoes. That makes mm -hmm. sense. So <laughs> she's, flying she's, ape. she's a little muddy as well, but she'll be fine. Oh, right. We can spend hit dice. You can spend yeah. hit dice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, trying, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. Uh... So technically, I think we discussed this. So you only get half of your hit die back on a long rest, yep. but I'm like, that's kind of dumb, so you guys get it all back on a long rest gotcha. instead. Mm -hmm. Just because of the way we're running this adventure. I literally have heard that people run this adventure where you, you get no rest the entire floor, and I'm like, that's nutty. Oh my god. That's, that's, that sounds hellish. That sounds hellacious. I don't want to do that, so... Like not even short rests. Uh, they can have short rests. They just long rest. They don't. Okay. They get like one long rest per like level, which I think is like a, obviously a home rule, and it's not really clearly defined in this module. But I'm like, I think we might have died if that was the case. Yeah, I think I think oh, for yeah. you guys like I think three is fair, but I think at a certain point it may become four, going forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh, not I now, it... not right now, but like way later. All right. when you guys maybe based like... on the encounters. <laughs> yeah, if it's yeah. a boss encounter, some, some locations are like, here's some scary shit, and some locations are like, eh, and it's like, I don't know, okay, well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> not that I want to make it hard all the time, but at the same time, it's just like there's gonna be a certain yeah. point where you guys are gonna be really high level and have a lot of resources, so it wouldn't hurt you to have, yeah. you know. I have, have resources. resources. I can hit things with arrows and with knives. Good job. Yay! Hooray! Ooh. I can't wait for Yahoo! Shay to show up for the Saturday game and be like, oh, I get to actually play today. <laughs> cool. Wow, I can cast spells. I just yeah, imagine. I woke you up, goddammit. Yep. Oh. Man, I... But I forgot about that cape entirely. Like, it's so new to me, like... Yep. I was like, what are you talking okay. about when, when Evie was like, you can, you have advantage to too? Be, and I'm like, no, to, I don't. To be fair, I also <laughs> forgot that one of the trolls, to attack one of the trolls as well, so it's all our brains mm. going. But yeah, I do ask, oh, yeah. please, please have your characters memorized, and if you if you don't remember yeah. your shit in the moment, and it's it's this long past, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, mm. hey, oh, for sure. we, we never asked to retcon anything, don't, nope. don't, don't worry about oh. that. Yeah, no, you guys it was more of a it. moment where it was like a realization for us that we now have magical weapons I'm just, I'm and gonna, equipment. I'm just gonna say, I, I feel like your guys' judgment is clouded from the uh, the the level that yeah, doesn't yeah. exist. So mm -hmm. maybe yeah. you're you're not thinking yeah. straight. So. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. nothing, absolutely nothing. Your princess is full mm. health again now. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. You, yeah. She's full health. She's 11 HP now. It's awesome. Just a heads up. Uh... I've only got like I two know. spells. Oh, I, I am willing to trade my level eleven as Bertrand to give uh, Princess one level of Barbarian. Oh, Barbarian! Yeah. <laughs> I'd like the multi-class from Mule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that. So and after does, the does hour, the poison pass? Yeah. After the hour, yes, the poison does fade. Oh my goodness. Make remove mm. that marker from your token. As Wisp. Oh, the bond. Wisp, Nyx, and Thaddeus. An hour passes. There's a quiet. What do you guys do? Well, nobody else came, so I take it that horn only reached the trolls. Yeah, um, the what? That's a relief. Do they have any the equipment on them? Like the uh, drow? The, the drow have their bolts, uh, which each of them have, like, about, I'd say, here's the thing. It's never defined ever what yeah. things are carrying on them, but the drow each have mm -hmm. short swords, and um, they have a hand crossbow on each of them. Are they mundane? Yes, they are very mundane. Huh. So, now that we have a moment to breathe, I am still a bit curious. What exactly happened back there? Nothing. I'm talking about we, we uh... fought two trolls and some drow. Yeah. <sighs> Fine, I'll ask later. I'll figure out what it is you did eventually. Listen, I, I feel like you'll we be more likely to hear. That's all it was. You'll be more likely to hear what happened if you, you stop asking. Let it come out naturally. Mm. Yeah, it makes me ha it makes me happier to talk to you by not knowing. He's just gonna like squint harder at him. Mm. Uh, Thaddeus, uh, do you want to meet Voland? Voland, who's that? Voland, do you want to come out and say hi? You watch as flipping out from. Uh, Nyx's uh, quiver comes a floating trident that just kind of hovers in place. Oh, goodness. How long have you had that? Oh, I, I don't know where we Forever. became friends. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Volans is our best friend now, and we must never betray their trust, and they do like a we must Kurt, keep them safe. A little Kurt bow, like something from Beauty and the Beast. Like... <laughs> oh, well, then, it's a pleasure to meet you, Voland. It does a little flip and then shoop, goes back into your quiver. And that's all you need to know. I I would still like to know more, but <laughs> uh, fine. What a, regardless, uh, Thaddeus would definitely say that Bird is the weak link as far as keeping the secret. <laughs> he's going like, to like, <laughs> like cock an eyebrow at him. Like, he, he wants mm. to talk it out so bad. <laughs> mm, I'll keep this in mind for later. I don't mind that. We need to figure out where we are going. Are we going further down this route? Oh, right. What do you guys know about charm effects? Because I left, I, I mean, I don't know much about magic, but I thought charm wasn't so strong as how it affected it, these creatures. It can be if it, it's yeah, a stronger especially, spell. Especially with a creature as strong as a spirit magic. Could it do that to us? It could. Oh, the silence got me. <laughs> is there any way to resist the effect? Yeah, just uh, be strong of will. So, yeah, just, you know, don't fail, forehead. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wisp really is like skill issue. Lionel's going to be the first one to fall for it. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> My bond could help a little bit, but it's mostly on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you well, do you have any spells that can help with that kind of stuff? Uh, I I don't think Mind I should be using my spells on that right now. Mm. I've I've got one reserve spell for very dire situations, and two that I'm happy to use for uh if healing. If if worse comes to worse, it would be up to Thaddeus and myself to counterspell their their enchanting spells. If it's a spell, that is. Like, Thaddeus, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to save spell slots for that kind of stuff. Oh, trust me, I have plenty to spare. Okay, well, should we keep going on the land route? I mean, it's the easiest one. I, I think if we get attacked again, it did seem to do us better on the land. Um, 
They seem yeah. to have an advantage when we're in the water. Mm -hmm. Stick to it then. Right. So you climb over the troll. Under the troll. If you put your figurine on it, it's underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> Disappear. Well, did it die like blocking the way, trying to block it? <laughs> <laughs> Bertrand uh, contemplates the cost it would require to get a princess mithril barding. <laughs> <laughs> Nyx, as you crawl over the troll and slide down its crispy chicken skin and look Ugh. down the corridor, that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Uh, uh, oh. Big combat, to be fair. Big, 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 big fight. Big, big time. Good, good job though, you guys. That was that was a hard one. That drow poison. I didn't think. Yep. I didn't think we'd have to deal with it going forward. I thought we were done. Not the yet. The drow are back. Two of them were at least. One second. Welcome, welcome to level eight, you guys. Hey! Uh, Hooray! I gotta think of an episode title for this one. I actually have to upload the previous, uh, the, the non-existent previous episode to YouTube. Hey, the tall. Yeah. That Boo Radley says he's not gonna watch because he's gonna try and figure it out himself. Come on, you Boo Radley. I will try. <laughs> he, he's gonna be hit by so much temptation. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though. Annoying. I love I love that it's like the spaghetti incident. We don't talk about it. <laughs> so yeah. Never mention it. Oh, good session, you guys. That was that was a very good session. Oh. Yeah, I will say this uh... this level is kind of the most like I'll say weird like at least so far that I've read is like kind of a little hard to follow in like the book. Because it's like it's very open, as you probably already could tell by like the large swamp areas. So there, there's a oh, lot yeah. of like scattered information where it's just like, oh shit, okay, this is here, this is here, but also his this long list of stuff is here, and it doesn't it's... necessarily mean like it's something important, but it's something like with the environment that you need to know about, and it's like mixed yeah. in with like the actual important stuff sometimes. It's easy to divide an area in rooms when it comes to a dungeon, but when yeah. it comes to open areas. Oh my god, Willowwood was like the probably the worst offender, and I was like, oh my god, because like literally like the giant forest section was like one little paragraph, and I'm like, cool, cool, thanks, excellent. <laughs> so with no differentiation, so it's just like, okay, where's the differentiation and all that jazz? So this one, this one, unfortunately, the wording is a little weird. I kind of make things up on the fly for some stuff, so I hope it goes okay. I also I mean, kind of changed some enemy placements because it just didn't make sense for some things. So hopefully, you know, I haven't completely ruined the module by doing so. But I have confidence. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it won't pop up like a couple levels later where, you know, it'll be like, if you did this. <laughs> you're, you're an asshole. You deserve the death penalty. <laughs> but like, <laughs> there's some stuff where it's just like, why would this not happen? And like, what what is this? But... Yeah, no, it's 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 one of those things, and that that kind of goes with every Pruitt module. This one, this level in particular, like, compared to the sixth level, I'll say, like this, like the 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 sixth level is like this, like the sixth level was very clear and defined. It was like, okay, here's what the, here's what's in here, except for that one puzzle that I talked to you guys about, where there's clearly a paragraph missing and they forgot to fix it. Um, mm. But like that was the only like the only I'd say the only flaw. Everything else was very clear and concise, and it's like this is what this is, this is where it is, this is how it works. And this is the area. Um, but certain floors are like, uh, figure it out. And it's like, oh, I've got to figure it out. <laughs> so, figure it out. Yeah, figure it out, five head. But good session, you guys. Good fight as well. You guys handled that incredibly well. And uh, now you guys know for next time for poison. Just, you know, roll with yep. advantage. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Well, that's the thing. You, you, It's like you get a new item and it's easy to forget. But once something happens that ingrains it into your memory, it's like, yeah, you know, you'll, it's there. you'll never forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, and here's no the other does. thing, too. You guys are level 10. You're pretty high level now. I know, like, for you, Shay, this is like your highest level character, I think. Oh yeah, ever, right? I've never been so I've never yeah. been this high level before. <laughs> and I, I think I told I told uh, Ly uh, Lionel Bracky this, and I feel like I've told everybody in the party this, but I don't know if the chat knows this, but like Dungeon of the Mad Mage goes to twenty, like it actually mm -hmm. goes all the way, it goes all the way to twenty hard hard stop. So 
And you're it's a bait people. of winter. There's a lot of stuff to keep track of, so... Yeah, no. How are you doing, chat? How are you feeling, chat? Sorry again that the episode got interrupted middle middle way through. I apologize for that. That must have been some sort of internet hiccup because like even Twitch was kind of down for a quick second mm -hmm. for me. It's kind of odd. Mm -hmm. I mean, chat? we got it back up like right away. So when chat wasn't moving, I was so scared that I lost it again, and like I was like, oh god, did we disconnect? <laughs> but I feel like more people would go in and be like, what happens in chat? Yeah, no. When I clicked onto the what? stream, everybody was like, no, <laughs> oh, they're dead. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll come back next week for more uh, Slither Swamp. You guys like it so far? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's slivering and it's sloppy. Oh. oh I have to be so... carried because otherwise I'd drown in a swamp. Man, you know what? I was concerned <laughs> about the UNT. I'm concerned about other things now. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you were all worried about the UNT and now it's everything but the UNT. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Captain Thunderbolt. I know about this campaign because I tried to play a year ago. It lasted four sessions before scheduling conflicts. Oh, that's the greatest enemy of D&D oh. scheduling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God, like our, our Saturday campaign was out of commission for like, what, three, three four months. months? Three or four months. Three months, yeah. And now we're back. And I have to actually do more reading for that, too, because I'm like, oh, God, it's been three, you know, it's been like three slash four months. I have to catch up on some reading on that because I had to refresh. But... Yeah, no, I feel that. It was actually really funny because I was like, like I mentioned when we, before we started, there's like the Dungeon of the Mad Mage subreddit. And there was someone who was literally just like, why why are my players not being disinterested in having scheduling conflict? Why do they want to keep playing? What is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. Now I have to keep running? Goddamn. I have to keep going? What? Oh. Ugh, I, hate, I hate having fun. I hate having fun. How dare. I I love, I love just the. I'm so glad you figured out what the statue was, like with the Dendar, the Night Serpent thing. <laughs> that's that's a big name in the Yonti lore. And then, uh, yep. I just love the. You see a bloody foot in the ground. You went nope and just turned around. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, there you go. Oh man, spooky ghost, big fight. Kind of had everything in this session. Well, uh, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but we did beat Critical Role this week. Did we? Oh, hell yeah. Get wrecked up, Mad Racer. <laughs> they didn't stream this week? Yeah, they were scared. <laughs> scared of our power. Oh, that'll man. show you. And that'll show you, gamers. <laughs> Matt's a cool dude, though. Dude's chill. So, I really like it when we have random people come in and go, you're really streaming Dungeons & Dragons while Critical Role is running? I'm like, yeah, they, they're... They, we better be. That's how we cut down on their numbers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> biting at the heels. Yeah, we're biting well, look at, at you. Heels. You're in your chat, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dual, dual watching both D and D campaigns at the same time. Right. Oh my lord. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just have fun here. I like it. It's chill. So, alrighty. Well, we should probably raid somebody. Uh, Octo pimp. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Let's see who's on. Uh, you said Octo pimp and Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, hey, Mr. Rabbit's playing Dead Space. Oh, we have Perception Studio too. They 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 do a lot of board game stuff as well. I think I want to raid Perception nice. Studio because we haven't raided them in a very long time. They used to do D and D with like I don't know if they still do it. I feel like they should. They do like D and D with like Muppets, which is really fun. It's like oh, the Muppets cute. are players, which is really cute. We met them at a, um, we met them at TwitchCon. They're really yeah. really cool. I think I remember seeing you guys raid them before, but I yeah, it didn't trigger in my head for with the name until you mentioned that. So what's the raid message? Uh, yeah. oh god, what should the raid message be? <laughs> snake! <laughs> Sneeple! Snake! Let's do snake in all caps. Snake! Snake! Alright, get out of here, everybody. Boat. Have a good time. Be nice. Get out! We'll or see else. you guys next week for more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Snake! Bye-bye.